Hi, this is Bill Burr, and you're oh, listening to, you know what, dude? I'm going to do a podcast too, dude, and I'm going to have a studio with fucking guitars on the wall, dude, a fucking cardboard cutout. That's me, dude, on fucking Riotcast.com. One of the greatest cunts I ever met in my life. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's Bill Burr, Joe DeRosa. Hey, everybody. It's Robert Kelly. And we're here to tell you that the three of us wrote a book. We wrote a book called Cheat, A Man's Guide to Infidelity. The title pretty much says it all. It's filthy, it's funny, and it's available now. And since we spent uh, two years of our lives writing this goddamn thing, we'd really appreciate it if you went out and bought it right now. Go to Amazon.com or your local bookstore and get a copy of Cheat, A Man's Guide to Infidelity. It'll make you laugh. Oh, and there's also a bonus. The book also includes a link to watch our short film, which is also called Cheat, that we got into the Tribeca Film Festival. We're really proud of it. So please, get the book so you can watch the movie. Cheat, the book and the movie, available now. That's it. No, no excuses, no nothing. God damn it, help us out. Go buy Cheat. Cheat. Cheat, a man's guide to infidelity. <laughs> uh, David Price, college baseball is the best. All right, college baseball is like you, it'll be uh, twelve to nothing. It's like little league, and oh. then like that it can, they can come back because aluminum bats. It's like exciting. That noise scares the shit. But out they of get me. a lot. But our football programs yeah. making. Because you remember that uh, as a kid. Some changes. Yeah, because I remember taking a Coach. line drive. Dan the Peyton face? was supposed to go to the Titans. <laughs> Dan oh, said he was. I love funk off a of shin bone. You guys hear yourself? Yep. You yep. good? Yep. Oh, you got to kind of eat these mics too, bro. The sure 58. Mm. Wow. <laughs> um, all right, we're in, man. We're in. It's been rolling. Um, this is another episode of You Know What, Dude. I had a thing in my mouth. That was animal like. Uh, you Know What, Dude. Um, we got um, Kelly for Stooks. Oh, hi, guys. Who popped a cherry this weekend. Oh, boy. Yep. <laughs> With me and Dan. First time she ever played. Uh, <laughs> a, a real gig. Yeah. First, a the, real paycheck. Yeah. She got a real paycheck not this five, weekend. Not five bucks from the door. How exciting was that? It was fucking amazing. So anyways, we got Dan, oh, uh, Monster Voice. Hello. Soda. <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is that? I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know. Oh. It's just being himself. You're just staring at me. What? You're just staring at oh, me. It's those eyes, man. Sometimes you fucking get me. That's why you have that radio voice and those fucking eyes. What are you saying? I got serial killer eyes? Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Take over the podcast. Go ahead. Watch this, Bill. Uh, uh, here we are. <laughs> We're here with uh, Nate Bargetzi. Is here. Am I allowed to talk before my <laughs> You can talk whenever you want, <laughs> dude. around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you trying <laughs> to make this as unprofessional as no, you can? Hey, I'm spitting out a mint. We just freewheeling yeah. here, dude. Yeah, that's where we do it. We don't, there's, right. no, there's no episode number. I don't know where we are. I hype your, your, me being on this podcast. You did? Like trashing your podcast. <laughs> And your studio. You did? I can't remember what I said. It just was something about studio and like a 12 minute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny as though Norton gets credit for the dude, but it's Burr is the one who invented the fucking dude. Yeah. yeah long, he, long time. Well, he forever used, ago. When we used to live together, he would sit there for fucking hours and come up with scenarios where I. I'd be Bobby Kelly learns guitar, <laughs> <laughs> and it'd be. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Bobby Kelly falls off a bridge. No, no, you were hanging from a bridge, and you thought something. You saw somebody who could help you, and then he stepped on your fingers. <laughs> All fucking. That's what we did instead of writing jokes. Oh, I can't believe we haven't done that yet. <laughs> but he do it for hours. What was the one where you were waking somebody up? It was something about dude. Dude. Dude? No, no, no. It was a... Hey, dude. <laughs> that was fucking... That was awful. There was, no, there was one with... The, there was some type of monster in the closet. And you were like, dude? Oh, yeah. I, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, shit. And then Bobby would, would try to bring up the most disgusting old lady porn with her legs spread. Oh, yeah. I remember that exact no photo. I, yeah, I'd have no idea. 
Yeah. And we'd be watching TV and you'd be like, burr. And I'd look over. Ah, <laughs> it's disgusting. Uh, yeah, he sent me a picture of his shit last <clears throat> night. I was just about to go on stage and said, good luck, fuckhead. And I just looked and went, oh, God, uh, it's a shit. <laughs> that's wrong, man. That's when I know. Yeah, actually, <laughs> no, it was good. It made me feel like I was a part of something, you know? Oh, all right. <laughs> okay, maybe just in my world. <laughs> she, uh... She was last night. Was a fir- she came? I was doing Levity Live, which is a beautiful club, by the way. Gorgeous. Oh, Let's promote that shit. It's wow. a really nice club. I don't, like uh, the Road Clubs, brand new. Food, green rooms, awesome. Stuff. Yeah, really good stuff. But Dan was uh, with me. Remember the, the writings on the wall? We- <laughs> it's when somebody makes a gorgeous comedy club. Gorgeous comedy clubs never survive. Oh, they do survive. Comics. All, all the improvs. Comics. The improvs are gorgeous. Well, they as as do you, have you ever been to fucking side splitters in yeah. Tampa? Yeah, yeah, with the fucking couch. That's a comedy club, dude. The fucking. Improvs, I mean, I agree with you. Are Groundhog Day. It's the same fucking club. No, look, the same I, red seat. Absolutely. The same David Spade. I, but with they're beautiful clubs. Necklace. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, Sarah there's, Silverman <laughs> looking down at her notes. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld with the black V-neck sweater. I can picture all those going yeah. around. All the comics that don't play the club ever. Yeah, everyone who made it. Yeah. Back when Montreal meant something. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, hey, all right. <laughs> no, I agree with you. I think those clubs, I would rather play a side splitters with a couch and a throw blanket with bed bugs on it than uh, the same exact club over and over. But this club is good. But comics was way too much. Comics was awesome. It was awesome, but it was way too fucking. Dude, I remember going there and they had homemade donuts in the green room the first like month they were yeah, open. Got, they threw those at me. The crowd. What? The crowd threw those at me. Why? <laughs> they threw donuts? Why? I think it's, you have that online, right? Yeah, I had that online yeah. for a while. They, uh, it was some fucking advertising company, and they were being dicks. Really? So I just trashed them, saying that they all gave up on their dreams because nobody dreamed about <laughs> being in advertising when they were eight years old. They just like, lobbed a couple. I think they just threw one at me. It was kind of cool because it was powdered. So it hit me, it did, like, that little did you do the, the slow-mo in the video? Uh, somebody else put it up and somebody did that. Oh, really? Yeah, the rip off of the Chappelle show. <laughs> That's funny. That everybody, uh, everybody stole from Neil Brennan, I believe. Was it Neil Brennan? Well, one of them, him or Dave, came up with that, right? I don't know. Well, we know that Neil Brennan did uh, create the Chappelle show because he tells you every time he meets you. Um, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I know him. He's never said that to me. <laughs> he, he, he winks it to me in Morse code. Um, so anyways, we did this show this weekend. Kelly... It was her first weekend hosting ever. Her re- this is your first real gig. You've mm. been doing what are you, open mics mm. since you came from Australia. Yeah. Why are you holding? Yeah, I, was just gonna I, was, I don't get, know what he's about to say. That was the because most she awkward gets, listen, body. Yeah. She's fucking. There's something wrong with her. <laughs> I know she looks normal. She's a very pretty girl. She's from Australia. You never. There's something. What is she so, from Australia? <laughs> because I always figured Australia people just nothing wrong. With, like Olivia Newton John. There's nothing wrong with her until she got cancer of the boobs. That and then I was like, wow, they they are human. But um, <laughs> she's a fucking. She's she's nervous. That's what she is. Because oh, you're okay. here. She's a little nervous. Cause I thought it was because Nate's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you did good. You did yeah. good. I got to give you credit. Thank you. Yeah, you 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 started off a little fucked up. Yeah, but then you pulled it out. You you pulled it out and you had fun. It was fun. It was great. Yeah. It was the best. The way she brings you up on stage, though, you're coming up. She just knows <laughs> your credits and blah blah blah. As long as it takes, she's doing them. And you're she doesn't watch you as you walk up. So you're kind of right there. Kind of <laughs> when they will look, I'll speed it up. Are right, you guys ready for Robert Kelly? She just fucking. Bleh. He's been on this. He's been on that. He's been on this. You've seen him on this. He was on Open Anthony. He had a sandwich you're, in the green room. You're, Everything's all right. And he's you're standing there staring at the side of her head and she's like, okay, oh, Robert Kelly. I got it. Yeah, but I think by the third or fourth show, like when you came on, when we passed each other, you went, finally, you got it. Yeah. Jesus. Well, you looked. Yeah. She finally looked over and saw me right there. Woo-hoo. But it best was a good time. Yeah, good best time. summer ever. It was awesome. This is your best. Is that the most money you've ever made? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's great. Oh, man. What are you going to do with that money? Pay my rent. <laughs> really? First time I ever got paid, Freddie Stone gave me $5 gas money. That's it? Freddie Stone. Well, I mean, you know, I, I probably had three minutes of material. I was pretty psyched. <laughs> I got paid 25 bucks to drive the Middler for Gilbert Godfrey to Chicopee, and I got Chinese food. Wow. And I remember Gilbert Godfrey ordered $100 worth of Chinese food, and that's when I worked with the retarded guys. Remember that? Mm-hmm. And... He was staying in a room with no fridge at a hotel. And I was like, hey, I live with re- you know, re- mental retarded people. I get- did love that. I'd take it back to him if you're not going to use it. He goes, nah. And he gave me the white rice. 
and he took a <laughs> fucking a hundred dollars worth of Chinese food back to his fucking room Jesus. with no fridge, no uh, fridge. <laughs> that's a pretty funny fucking. And he bombed. Did he fucking? I've never seen someone take a hot one and not be phased. At one fucking iota. Didn't acknowledge anybody leaving. People were getting up in droves. And he was just up there eh, eh, do it with a no, napkin. They didn't get it. I mean, he, he was, I saw him at Nick's a long time ago. He was killing me. Yeah. And everybody, you know, they were used to that Boston style. He yeah. probably had to go on after some beast, you know. Yeah, he had I to go on after a Colorado guy. He, he did. Uh, he did. He did some joke about uh, you know. So I ran into uh, Jackie Onassis the other day, and I was like, Jackie, do you remember where you were? <laughs> and I fucking died laughing. Think it was hilarious, and people were like, Remember where she was when? <laughs> this guy fucking sucks. <laughs> he he had a fu- everybody walked out, but I remember the, the next night he fucking killed it. Everybody he there fucking he killed it. I, and Colin Quinn that happened to Quinn a couple times too. Quinn had to be walked out. Joe Yannetti had to fucking go on stage. And go, look, I'm from fucking East Boston. This oh, yeah, guy's yeah. walking out with me. And they had to walk him to the kitchen because Quinn pissed everybody off. I remember that. Do you guys talk anymore? <laughs> Are you guys, this what, what, I just, I just like is, watching you. I this is what happens. Bailed on that story. No, this is what happens, Bill. Anytime I have a, a fucking comic in, like above these twats, if it was just a, Bill, you wouldn't shut this cocksucker up. He'd be talking. He'd be ta- not him. He just throws shit in every once in a while. He's a sniper. Then when the point guard blames the team, thank so you. After you bring the ball. Up, I'm down in the through. post you're waiting for it. We will wait. For you're you fucking bail. both just stay. I I'm can't shut you two up. No, it was the other way I'm around. I'm telling you, Bill. You got, I know you what you're doing. I know what you're doing. <laughs> Everyone was listening to you. How about this? And then he, he, did, he, did he or did he not bail he, on that story? Yeah. Yeah. How about this? How about when you're in the middle of a story and then you fucking, you know that you need to lateral this motherfucker, <laughs> but these cocksuckers are away at the You're not even line. tossing it to me. I tossed you it. You didn't toss yeah, anything. But it's also, it's your You could have done a voice. It's, it's, I could have, but I didn't. Story. <laughs> yeah. It's your story. Tossing voice. You, <laughs> don't you look at me just to toss in a voice whenever I feel this isn't morning zoo. I'm kidding. This that's isn't story. fucking. I'm yeah, it is. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. Come yeah. on, just get new. This, All right. this, this reeks I think, of it. Uh, <laughs> there it comes. That's, well, there that story. You want to throw it to us? The story was like from '84. <laughs> Wasn't that's it? True. That's it's true. It's true. It's true. true. It is true. You had nothing. <laughs> <It's not. that. laughs> you know, well, you could have. You could have went into another bombing story that you've seen. Uh, talk about Kelly this weekend. She, she, she didn't right. bomb this weekend. Wow. She. 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 I don't. She didn't know because they didn't boo. No one. We're talking. Get the fuck off the stage. I mean, yeah, she didn't do great. She didn't kill it, but she didn't even know how to. She didn't. She's never been on a stage that big. Yeah. But she held the microphone like uh, you could. You know, like uh, she. You could see that she's used to working on a stage three feet by two feet. Because yeah. <laughs> that's the only. She went from here to here and then turned her body. Bobby, normally my stage is an Italian restaurant floor. Well, people are trying to eat. Right. It's like it's yeah, not you a could tell. big stretch. Yeah, this, this stage was huge, and she was <laughs> holding the microphone and turning her body this way, mm-hmm. like you, like your open yeah. mics that you I do. I wanted to just flash dance. Like, I thought, the stage is big. I should. Is that a bomb? But, a bomb? uh... Where's that, the handkerchief? There you go. It says the bomb. Um, okay, thank you. Yeah, but it was one of those stories <laughs> where it's bomb. fucking another old it Boston comic. <laughs> it was that bad. I don't know. Yeah, like, I think she it. wrote that down. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I did. I'm trying to jump oh. in. And I fucked you. I fucked you. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? I was calling an audible. <laughs> you were at the line. But it was one of those stories where it was like one of those old Boston comics that I don't know. You're like, fucking Charles McDonough is there. Fucking walking Quinn. I didn't know. I didn't know who Charles that was. McDonough? That sounds like an old Boston comic. Yeah, it actually does <laughs> yeah. sound like an old. Dude, did you see Charles McDonough this weekend with the guitar? <laughs> um, well, anyways, Bill, I'm glad to have you on the show. Um, I'm glad to be here, Bob. I'm glad you're here, dude. <laughs> I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, a, I got, a, pro, I got a pro, split a cab to come down here. You didn't split shit, first of all. I'm just. Uh, uh, well, I hailed it. <laughs> <laughs> I got this today, actually, and I figured I'd open it with Bill here. Um, I just this. like that Bill said that this reeks of morning zoo because I've been trying to say that this does have sometimes a morning zoo feeling. Does it? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, you can you can actually not show up then when that Whoa. happens. How's that sound? All right. Yeah. Now you're, now you're the picture on the mics. Where, you know, he's eating Ooh. the microphone. He's the day. <laughs> ah, the world is getting to me. It's Bobby of the Monster. What a one nine. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There it is right oh, here. Oh boy. There you to guys. Hype, uh, to hype that movie uh, cheat that we did. Hey, here the fuck <laughs> it is. This is the uh, actual this is the book. Official. That's this the official book that's coming out. Man's Guide oh, man. to Infidelity, right there. Cheat. A Man's Guide to Infidelity is coming out uh, 
I think the 16th yeah. of October. And this is, uh, you want to pass that around and check it out. Just, That's the official copy that's coming out. Me, Ooh. Billy Burr, and Joe DeRosa uh, wrote and uh, produced a movie, and Joe oh, directed. Shoot. When can uh, we see this movie? I can't. Can well, we? well, this is the deal. I'm getting to that. Oh. Is that we, um, we, we're having a big book th- promotion ah. it's coming out the 16th, okay, at the Village Underground. We're working it out right now. We're going to have two shows. We're going to do a show. Billy can't make it. He's going to be in Australia. He's going to be in Australia. Yeah. Oh. Are you going to go down to Melbourne at all? He's got to go. Melbourne's awesome. He's got to finish the promo. Oh, I'm sorry. One second. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to get the promo out. The 16th. <laughs> Who's what's and where's. The 16th. <laughs> we're going to be uh, selling the book if, and doing a show and showing the movie. Which is what the book was based off of. Yeah, initially the the movie, as I understood, was supposed to be in the back of the book. That's what I was told. So this whole fucking thing uh, made sense. Now it's just the link. So what I'm nervous is one guy buys it and then uploads the link and then we're fucked. No. Don't you see that big gaping hole in this whole process? <laughs> no, because it's, it's not like a- this book is fucking hilarious and it's unapologetic. And we're just, you know, it, it, it totally makes sense with the movie. And it's also one of these things that so many people either are doing, have done, or thought about. And uh, and everybody, like, con- I've never, like, the act of cheating, the amount of people who have engaged in it on some level but sit there and they condemn it when it's brought up publicly is fucking ridiculous. And it's about time for people to read this goddamn book and laugh about it and see yourself in this fucking thing before you get on your stumps. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> first. It's a good book. I read it. I liked it. Yeah. I, I'm reading it while pooping. I don't want to read it on the subway just in case I meet a nice girl and she's like, you're a piece of shit. Like, well, yeah, the, she, she probably did it too. Hey, you don't <laughs> think she's level, cheated? Yeah. Mentally on some fucking level. Yeah. Trust it, is me. Una- it is unapologetic. When I read it, I was just like, at first I was like, fucking hell. Like, I can't trust anybody. Like, I'm, I'm fucked. Well, you've never cheated on anybody? No. Ever. Ever. Never cheated. I've never cheated. Oh, she did. She no. lied. Then. No, because I stuttered on my word. You never cheated on a guy? Nope. Ever. Not even, like, mentally, not what even you... flirting, not even, like, uh, uh, Probably, like, a little flirty flirt, but I never, put, I never put never a dick where it wasn't supposed to go. But you never made out with a guy? No, I never made out with a guy. Did you ever play, you ever, you ever flick the bean to another guy while you were with another guy? Oh, uh, yeah, probably, uh, yeah. I've That's that. cheating. That? It's emotional cheating. Cheating is when you put your dick or something. If I told my wife I just jerked off to Kelly what? last night, she would be like, "Are you?" A f-? She'd be pissed. You'd be mad too. Everybody would be mad at me. Hmm. Not that I'd ever do that because <laughs> of your fucking asshole stories. <laughs> yeah, right. but you know, you can't, that's emotional cheating. My wife would be mad if I told my wife that I jerked off to her friend, her best friend Debbie. She'd be like, "You're a fucking." A-. She'd be pissed. Yeah. Yeah, but what I liked about it though is like it's like girls should be reading that too, so they can understand and get it because that's the honesty of it. People are fucking liars. No yeah. one fucking like. Uh, well, we like, say in the beginning the, the reason why we didn't write it for women is because you guys don't need one because yeah. you're so goddamn good at it. Yeah. Naturally, <laughs> like cats. Naturally. Not saying, been, no, not saying you all do it, but if you're gonna do it, a guy is never gonna figure it. I mean, I, the the percentage rate of getting caught. It's the guy's thing is through the roof. Women, I, I think, rarely... I don't think a male eagle allows you to even think that they would Why would you cheat on this? Look at all of this. this at home. You, want, you want more than this? No, yeah. you don't. My sign is always whenever I meet a guy that has more than one phone... Like, everyone has a phone, but, you know, Are some you guys... Are you drug dealers? But, yeah. <laughs> right? I had a... Like, you dating guys my, with burners? <laughs> one of my best friends, like, and he had two phones. Like, oh, one's my, like, personal phone, one's my work phone. And I'm like, this dude, fuck him. Like, yeah, exactly. this is exactly totally. what he's doing. What do you think he's not well, fucking that, around? That's he why totally N- was. Norton has a, a naughty boy phone and a good boy phone. Mm. He has a regular phone. Uh, for business and such and girlfriends and then he has his little naughty boy phone <laughs> to do his him huh? <laughs> out. Huh? He says it on no one. He has oh, a he song. Oh. Good boy phone and a naughty boy phone. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jamaican guy he turns oh into. <laughs> but the <laughs> but the um, I mean the book is I mean the, our first editor when she remember we were going through her edits and it just said really? <laughs> Like most of her fucking things were like really with a big question mark. And we were like, fucking yes, yeah. that's what we do. This is one of these books you're either going to totally get and see yeah. the humor. Yes. Or you're going to think it's the most despicable thing ever written. Yeah, it's hilarious. But most people who re- read it were like even Colin or that the writer that we gave it to were like, this is a real book. This isn't a, 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 you know, some urban outfitters book. This is a real book written in a real way. 
the psychology is all somewhat real, it's but like really, bank robbers wrote a book on robbing a bank. <laughs> yes, right. exactly. Perfectly, yeah. <laughs> After That's, they got caught, yeah, and this, they're sitting in jail. This is the serial <laughs> killer guy when the guy's like, "I got to make some money for That's my family." What it is? <laughs> yeah. This is how you get rid of the what body. Uh, I'm not saying acid. you should do it, but if you're gonna do it, <laughs> which com- you will, if you're compelled to murder someone, here are some guidelines to follow. <laughs> and not <it's>, saying you, <laughs> you'll definitely not get caught, but at least give yourself a jumping off point. It's like you may have a bit made spaghetti sauce before you want a some sort of a recipe that you know and then you can add your own basil to it's a dick cookbook yeah Uh, (laughs) but here's the thing too though it's not just me you know a guy banging uh, a square like another chick the square yeah going through all like most people think cheating you're with a girl or a wife and then you fuck another girl okay it goes through the whole thing uh how to cheat with your phone and texting and massage parlors and whores and it goes through every single way of cheating because most people think that just cheating is fucking another person equivalent to your chick or less or more than but there's a, a lot of different My ways to cheat favorite parts of the anecdotes we had all our friends who told stories oh, about, Keith's about, is great. about getting caught yeah. Anthony's is great yeah. we're not going to talk about any of them but they're all Gnomes the I love Gnomes yeah. Gnomes is unbelievable uh, Gnomes is my fucking fa- favorite now would the church condemn this Nate Huh? I mean, probably, yeah. Probably <laughs> Nate, Nate is yeah. very religious. No, no, I mean. Yeah. Well, he's just a southern yeah, boy. Yeah, you're a southern boy. Yeah, yeah. No, he's smart. <laughs> he's smart. He lives by some sort of guidelines. Yeah. As long as you don't totally buy into it, which he hasn't because he moved to this sinful city. <laughs> right? He maintained his... And then he left when, as soon as he found his wife was pregnant. Yeah. He loaded up the truck and I moved back. I can't have my kin learning all this stuff. <laughs> I'm just, I want to see the movie. Every time, yeah. I asked DeRosa twice to see the movie. I went over to well, his house and he was like, we, I don't want to watch it. We held it, we <laughs> held it because we wanted people to uh, get the book. Yeah. And now you'll be able to, but like I know, you, there'll be a website that you'll be able to go to. But No, we wrote the book so they'd just go see the movie. Well, they, we the wrote movie the book. was supposed to come in the back, which it isn't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you, it's just Did you link. shake your ass? Yes, because now we just essentially I, wrote actually, a book like advocating <laughs> cheating and it's taken on a totally different fucking angle. <laughs> no, it's it's like, like, hey, a piece here's a book sh- on cheating. No, this, this is a promotional tool for a fucking yep. film. You cunt. But here, <laughs> don't here's walk away deal. from me on this here's one. It was supposed to be in the back. But here's the deal. what I was told. We have this. I was sold. We have this though. We have the, uploaded it with a feature length script that we worked on that we didn't finish. Can you turn down my headphones. Jesus no, Christ. I didn't. You just went deaf no, in I the said, middle can of the you show. Turn them down. Yeah, go ahead. Right there. Follow your uh, wire. It's right there. Uh, Second one in. Um, thank you. Yeah, dude. With the, we have a. We were trying. We have eighty pages of the script written of the feature length movie of Cheat. <laughs> Is that what I was supposed to jump? Yeah. yeah. You remember we wrote that. We yeah. have like 80 pages of that written. Right. We just have, you know, we have uh, 120 pages to finish and we're done. And we, we have it with four it's the people. Worst promoting ever. Why don't you just say we had it finished? I don't even remember. We, we have this it. script finished, man. <laughs> this script is ready wow. to rock and roll. You hear that awesome. industry? We almost have our first draft done. <laughs> We'd like we, to line up and make an offer. <laughs> we can't finish it because we have to figure out who the star is going to be. Ah. Um, no, we have the script, and the movie's going to be in there. You'll be able to see the movie. It's going to have a website that you'll be able to go to, and, uh, <laughs> and you'll be able to buy the book, too. The book is hilarious. It's cheat. It's from Simon and Schuster. It's going to be available on download, digital download, on iTunes and Amazon. Uh, I think next week. Uh, so you can do that. You can pre-order it and go and buy it. Buy five copies. <laughs> Seriously, buy copies for your friends. It's a great book. If you have a bunch of guy friends, you don't know what to get them for Christmas. Get them this book. They'll. It's, it's you'll, hilarious. You'll your ass off. It is. Mm. It is probably the most honest shit. I've ever been. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were I, we were writing this thing, and I was like, "We're, we're going to get on the view and just get yelled at." Oh, <laughs> I want, and I just want Elizabeth just to be like chiming in, oh. like, "Well, hang on a minute. Are you saying oh, shut uh, up?" You my husband doesn't cunt. cheat. Mm, probably has. Hasselbeck. <laughs> yeah. She's the worst. I think he's a good dude. <laughs> yeah, he's coming into the defense. Yeah. You're playing the other side. And the Titans quarterback now. I actually like the way they turned out, though. The, the actual visual of the book. The, f- the first thing was supposed to be uh, some kind of kooky cover where it said, uh, cheat a man's guide. And then when you fold it back 
when you you could rip off the front and then it said it eat a man's guide. So it had, uh, the first photo had all these sexy images of women and then you ripped that off and it became a food and it said eat a man's guide. Um, but they couldn't do that for some fucked up reason. And they couldn't put the DVD But then in they the changed the it to camera. this, which is more of a uh, official and it's kind of sinister. I like this better. That was a little more like um, Urban Outfitters. This is more of a real book, which I like, which the book is. Yeah, it is a real it book. represents the book better and it's it's kind of subtle too. If you walk when by does it that, come up? it comes out the sixteenth of October. Pre sale next week on iTunes and Amazon. Um, so we need you guys to buy this. Buy a bunch of them. It's a hilarious book uh, written by me, Billy Burr, and Joe DeRosa. It's a hilarious and, rump through our single lives. And you're going to actually get to see the movie, too. Early 30s. <laughs> yeah, long time ago. Uh, That's when Big J's on the show. Anytime we talk about pussy stories, it's like we always, yeah, like years ago. Yeah. Years ago. <laughs> then, we always have to start But with then that. there's some reference in it like that it's happened like, a couple like weeks Obama. ago. Yeah, exactly. Obama. Mama's on the TV. <laughs> it was right after the DNC years ago when Obama reaccepted the nomination. Uh, yeah, she's blowing me in clips in the background <laughs> talking to a chair <laughs> in the late 90s. <laughs> yeah, I took this chick. She blew me. She blew me at Batman, the one with Bane in it. <laughs> Um, so this book is coming out. I'm really excited. Can I have that bandana, please? Can I? <laughs> yeah, everybody, wow. everybody did examples, and then you. Yeah, nobody. Did it late. I just looked I, down like I was like, reading. Oh, I don't <laughs> like this fucking vibe in the room today. Everybody's, everybody's like fucking off a little bit. What, what a shit on someone. I just took a nice a little, hot one. I'm a little upset at Nate. Why? Because his album's coming out today, right? Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, this will be. I will put it in the back, and I put it in the back of y'all's book. <laughs> <laughs> CD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? Uh, what's a CD? What's it called? Yeah, yelled at by a clown. <laughs> My dad's a clown. Let's Your dad's a that. real clown. He His was. dad's a clown and a magician. Oh, he man. was. He's a magician though. This is the cover. Is that your dad? Yeah. That's when oh, I was five. Oh, my God. oh wow. That would have freaked me the <laughs> fuck out. I know. Right? I'm just thinking the of shag it. carpeting wig. Jesus. Oh man. I'd take my fucking stepdad. They used to beat me over that. Let oh me see that. God. Does he have tattoos on his... Oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, he has tattoos. He's <laughs> yeah. a tattoo clown. He has a cigarette coming Not out of his mouth. Not a lot of money. Not a lot of money. Cigarette cigarette how, can we just stop and talk about how adorable Nate is, yeah, though? Well, what a little, little Christian baby that is. <laughs> little gorgeous it's Jesus all baby. Right. Claymation. <laughs> <laughs> That's how like, scary he looks. <laughs> oh, he drew the eyebrows on his forehead, too. Is there anything scarier than a clown with tattoos? You know, just like a cigarette out of his mouth? Oh, God. Like a prison clown? Oh, Nice. <laughs> oh, dude, that's creepy. Now he's a magician. Now does he still do he's the clown? No, 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 no. He so that stuff's magician. gone. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a like, he's really good at magic. Like, really, he's in the top uh, 150 greatest sleight of hand magicians in the world. He does some cool shit. Top 150. Yeah, is that good? Yeah, I mean, there's only like 200. In tennis, that blows. Huh? In tennis, that blows. Oh, no, it doesn't. Top 150. You blow in like in a sense of like uh, I don't know against the best, but top 150 tennis player. How many people play coaches, tennis? Coaches poll. He's 75. Crazy amount. Eight people. It's like golf. Golf is like two. If you're ranked 200, you're unreal. Really? Like, that was like Anna Kournikova. Whenever you, everyone used to give her shit. Yeah, but she's never won a major, and she probably it's like she's one of the hottest chicks ever, <laughs> and, and she's got to like 16th people. in the world. Yeah, that's she's pretty yeah. fucking amazing. That's unreal. She, she could have just hung out, you know, and got free drinks, and just been that <laughs> yeah. chick who never left her town. <laughs> if you play tennis even within a mile from the U.S. Open, you're probably pretty awesome. And a like mi- that's oh, did you say a, a, mile. a mile? A mile. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> one of the I'm out courts. One of the outer <laughs> courts. <laughs> I'm they have doing all your cities, all the good old boy cities. Nashville. I did. Uh, no, I did. I'm doing Jacksonville coming up. I just did Charlotte. Oh. Big Daddy Don Garlitz. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then next you're doing Australia. Like, Wait. Then I got yeah, I got Australia. Have you been to and Australia I'll before? To people come up to me and say condescending things about the United States. Oh man, that's yeah, always got to be fun. You going to get it? Huh? You're gonna get it? No, I'm not. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking trash them. I fucking can't stand people who, who allow people to trash. I understand that our country's foreign policy is fucked up, but I would never go to somebody's country and give them shit yeah. while I'm in it. Like some some Australian girl when I was on the fucking plane. You know, the worst. This is reverse promoting a yeah. show in Australia. I'm so excited you know, to be worst. here. I'm still devastated about the death of the crocodile hunter. I'm going the other way. I'm on the fucking plane, and she was just talking about how awful the states were. To me, in well, the States. She's uh, coming back on holidays. I don't know what she was doing. But I'm not like that. I live here. 
Huh? I live here, though. Yeah, no, like, I'm not I, saying yeah. everybody. <laughs> I'm not saying everybody. I, just, I don't know. I just saw one, t- one time Eddie Ift was on some fucking show and uh, in Australia, and some dude was just shitting all over him, just getting the easiest laughs ever. Yeah. Um, and Eddie, he just fucking sat there. I actually sent him a Facebook message. Like, don't ever let somebody fucking get those easy laughs. Who, on Eddie Ift? Yeah, he just, he just Eddie fucking Ift. sat there. Yeah, but it's Eddie Ift. It's not like he's the you fucking, know, uh, the strongest backbone in fucking the comedy world. You I know, like he, he, I like Eddie too. I like Neil Brennan too. Who else? I like well, Neil Brennan. <laughs> Who else am I have to apologize after this fucking? Video? I like both of them. <laughs> You're gonna have to apologize to yeah. Australia. <laughs> I, I like both of them. I like Eddie, but he's not gonna. There's certain guys that are gonna fucking stand up for them. Eddie's not gonna. That's why I, I sent him an email. Like, dude, don't ever let somebody do that. And it, it was just, it was such cheap fucking rah rah <laughs> jokes. Yeah. On the show, and you got the American there, and he said, "That was just. It was. I just thought it was the ch- cheapest fucking laughs on the planet." And this kid was killing with this bullshit. Was he a Act- comedy or yeah, was he the host? Acting like he's fucking Lenny Bruce or some. He's shit. trying to do the Bill Hicks with, route. With his fucking knock knock jokes. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Was it? Was, it, it was are you an, talking was, about Eddie being joke? No, Eddie was on a the panel. some sort of panel oh, okay. on some fucking show, and this dude was just trashing. Right. Says, was it a strange show? You know what? I just realized halfway through the show, I don't know. One of those shows where you guys <laughs> yeah. talk the way you talk. It here. <laughs> when you talk it the way you talk. I think it was Australia. Yeah, because yeah. he goes over there. Yeah, it would have been like Good News Week or Spicks and Specs. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Spicks and Specs? What fucking middle act is What's sitting there destroying, <laughs> just, just how, spoon feeding the crowd. I'm trying to figure out who with, the comic with, is. With what they want. Because I know. I'm trying to think out who the Wait a minute. Shut up. Did you just say Spicks and Specs? Spicks and Specs is a TV show. What are you saying? In Australia, say it slower. Spicks and Specs. Spicks and Specs. It's actually the name of a Bee Gees song, and it's named after that. It's named. Oh, really? You have a show named after a Bee Gees song? Yeah, because it's, sh- it's a show I about music. Hate your country. <laughs> I really can't hate Australia. Bon Scott, ACDC. Come on, man. I was going to wear one, my one, ACDC t-shirt. Just one, one. We'll get them. What out. else? What else? Crocodile and Hunter. Thirty odd foot of grunt. It's another great band. Yeah. What? Russell Crowe. <laughs> Thirty odd Russell foot of Crow grunt. Man. No, but Russell Crowe, dude. Fucking fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. I fu- fuck him. This is the one thing. <laughs> this is what sucked about that fucking state. For one, for like three years, they had it was just them and the Oscars. Those cocksuckers. And yeah. all the roles they played were American. They wasn't it's like called well. acting. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to see an Australian an accent. Do it, yeah. uh, mate. You know, I go over there. I see Eddie Ift on the show, and it's not good. Charlie, my baby, my baby. See, it's terrible. I, Come I on, really man. Am. They didn't get to the Oscars. Dude, pay me fucking house. five million dollars oh, no, in an no, Oscar. No. I'll, get, I'll get that shit for down. Twenty-five years. Yeah. <laughs> you do the best accent. Yeah. <laughs> no. I had to deal on the drive home on Saturday night oh, the whole time. So this is one of the funniest things that's ever happened. Dan singing. Like me doing oh. my voice, but singing "Lose Yourself" by Eminem, and it's one of the funniest things. The I've funniest ever thing. Heard. I'm gonna fuck. <laughs> my life. Listen, she, all right, we were in listen, the green room. First of all, yeah. fuck. Th- that's funny, <laughs> but the funniest thing is we found out that she has a Disney voice. <laughs> this bitch sings like fucking Snow White. <laughs> we're in the back driving home. All of a sudden, a song we we did like "Do a Dear," just joking. This bitch went "Do a Dear," a female, and fucking. Oh. Wailed it out, <laughs> right. dude, to the point where we couldn't make fun of her. We were just like this, like little kids, like <laughs> sing <not> more, <laughs> smiling sing like more. assholes. We, we like, could- do another one, <laughs> do bed knobs and broomsticks. We couldn't <laughs> stop smiling. It was so fucking like, oh my god, I want this. Yeah. It up for Can you, you please sing like, one? No, they're doing like, um, was it uh, oh. do a dear? <laughs> it was a theme. Shut the dinner theater Ray, shit. A touch of golden sun. <laughs> oh jeez. And we were just sitting there fucking imagining <laughs> birds like. Yeah, like coming up on their the, fucking uh, yeah, s- sound of music voice. <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, it's my gay voice. I fucking love it. Failed oh, dinner man. theater. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, but man. fucking Dan. You fu- oh, man. It's one of the funniest things I've ever I think I have it. I think you I have it. Have <laughs> it. <laughs> you need to play it. She I was listening to her set on her fucking. <laughs> Uh, iPhone uh-huh. and Bobby and I are hanging out in the green room and I'm like look at this fucking eight mile bitch she's got her <laughs> notepad and right. so I started we started playing it and it was like if I had one podcast to say everything I've ever wanted would I do it <laughs> would I let it slip by so we were just doing that on the car ride home, calling her fucking Aussie 8 Mile. It was just infuriating. Because Bobby and I are like busting balls, and she's sitting there with her fucking huge headphones on, like, mm-hmm, just going through her notes. And we're like, oh. 
as the amateur that I am, like that was like you walk in that room, you see these two like eating busting balls, me sweating sweat patches under my arms, like a, a proper show. Is this gonna come in super loud and make my I'm ears do- bleed? I don't know. I would do that. <laughs> this is in the car on the way home. I hope other people find this as funny as I did. <clears throat> I don't this know. This is gonna bomb. This is gonna bomb. This is one of those things. Isn't this supposed to be like pre-production? These <laughs> yeah. Hey, welcome back to the zoo with Bobby and the Monster. One hundred one nine, the Wolf. Oh. <laughs> Look, if I had oh. one more case to tell the guys everything I ever thought, <laughs> if I really wanted to tell them what I all thought about them, would I do? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was. Ah, uh, this is way funnier. What's it, Sissy? Plum is fatty. Jokes are weak. I got Benjamin on my sweater already. But I'm not. Just us. You don't even have any fun. You don't even have any words, but it was funny. The first line, my tits are We're sitting there. Oh, this geez. bitch had a fucking notebook, headphones, laughing at her own jokes. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, this bitch is going to go out there and take over the show. It's called trying. <laughs> hey, when you That's were down true. side splitters, I was, uh, I was actually in Orlando. That really bothered me. Why? Because I, I fucking would have gone over. I was just sitting in the goddamn... Why uh, didn't you call me? Because by the time I realized that it was Saturday, what the hell did I do? I actually did something Saturday. You know, when I go on the road, I try to do shit. Yeah, me too. I always go to sporting events. Drives yeah. him nuts. Dude, do they got to fucking Oh, yeah. Hate it, dude? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> nah, go to drag race and any dumb shit that people are doing. And I, 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 I didn't realize it until Saturday. Dude, you showed me the thing about drag racing. I used to go to my stepfather, Billy. The uh-huh. fucking evil one used to make me go to drag racing up in New Hampshire all the time, and I, I fell in love with it. It was awesome, but it was it was like a love hate thing because he used to make me go. Sometimes I didn't want to go, and I used to get headaches because I get um, bad migraines as a kid. And that you know, being at a drag race, right. it's just f- gas fumes and mm. f- wow, screaming. Yeah, I find the noise. race to be boring after a while. But when you went down the pits, these fucking guys yeah. in between races, they change out the fucking engine. It's still steaming hot. These guys had like these nuclear like level gloves on, and they all got like those uh, those torque wrenches. Yeah, the guys, torque ones. Brr, brr, and they just, <laughs> this thing just comes apart, and uh, they I don't know they put it back together because it seemed like every other car blew something, something happened, and there would be fires going out. Did the they side. have the truck? Did they have the jet truck? The jet truck? I don't think they had. Was that, that family what? there? The guy that has like all his daughters racing too? Yep. It's like the most. He was there. The, uh, one of one of his daughters, unless there's somebody else. Everybody's yeah. like, dude, she's hot. It's like, no, she's just kind of a chick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's a chick who's in shape. But in her this face, world, her face that, is yeah, only okay. That, like I thought she yeah. was gonna be gorgeous, <laughs> yeah. and she was. It's just that classic, you know, like guys just think if somebody, if a girl has blonde hair, she's good looking. Yeah. yeah. Like, dude, she's a blonde. And it's like, so you just need to frame her face. <laughs> And just look at her face. She's yeah, really, that's like she's MMA chicks are the same way. It's like this bitch is hot, but if you really look at her, it's not. She's just hot compared to fucking in that world. Yeah, the she's Brazilian hot. you know cyborg who does you know looks like a dude. Yeah, most of the chicks look like a she's guy. Like hey, a f- that one guy with the sword, the actual size sword. Uh, Brock Lesnar. Yeah. yeah, he's like he's wrestling now. He's back in the WWE. Yeah. He was back in the WWE. <laughs> he's out of the WWE. <laughs> he's out again. He did a one year contract for like five mil. And he did the big event, and now I think he's out. He's a, I love. He one. might go back. They're That's trying to smart. So he went out and he got paid to do that. They're trying to get him back in the UFC to fight Fedor. I would love to know what was more taxing on his body. Oh, I'll tell I, you. MMA. MMA. Uh, no, the wrestling's got to be. No, MMA because the training. You're training seven days a week for three months at a pop or four months at a pop. To fight this guy yeah, and but fighting, wrestling, you gotta you gotta fight like four times yeah, a fucking week. Wrestling, yeah, you gotta take fitness. bumps. Yeah, but wrestling, fuck bumps. Yeah. Bumps. Yeah. bumps. Yeah. You know, yeah. wrestling, you don't get kicked in the fucking solar plexus and punched in the face until you have to give out, tap out. He got the shit kicked out of him a lot. Yeah, you know, you don't do that yeah, in you, wrestling you for real. But but his you didn't fights do like, were like four times a fucking week, and his fights are long. In the Dude, in I'm, wrestling, I'm not, I'm not like talking 40, about thirty minutes. He's a big event. Yeah, but wrestling is a timed out event. You can take breaks. It's real. <laughs> wrestling is real. I mean, Dan, the bumps. Dan, Dan, settle Look, down. Dude, at the, at the end of, dude, I, I met Hulk Hogan 
That oh, guy used to be six foot seven. He's six foot four now <laughs> from doing that finishing move of leaping up say? in the air the and ch- landing Wait on his ass. Wait a minute. What did you say? He was six foot seven and he's six foot four? Yeah, he's got yeah, he total lost, back lost. problems. Dude, if you look at his arms, because I saw his arms, I'm like, this guy isn't as big as I, as I thought he was. Dude, his arms hang down to his fucking knees. Like a gorilla? Because, because he has the, the wingspan of a six foot seven <laughs> guy who's now six foot four. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Like, people think because it's fake fighting. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm, I I'm absolutely not, I'm not disrespecting all these I fucking would, douchebags. Like you're a fucking idiot. Like I'm gonna get all these. <laughs> these, these, these <laughs> I didn't say what I would. Uh, you know what's real versus what's fake. I'm saying as far as wear and tear on your body for fucking four times a week to do a your finishing move. I do a double backflip <laughs> off the turn drop and I land on some guy's stomach. But those. Some but Brock Lesnar was a <laughs> Brock Lesnar was not that guy. You're talking about the Flyers. Well, Brock, no. Le, Brock Lesnar was a. I'm talking. They're about the last of the. Yeah, Brock Lesnar general. was a big guy. Hulk Hogan, big guy. Those guys had finished their finishing moves. Were just picking somebody up and throwing. Well, them. Hogan jumped no, on his ass on. Yeah. early on every night. No, Hogan. You, yeah, but but the bigger guys. Don't get hurt as much as if you look now at wrestling, there's no more big guys because of steroids and all that shit. It's the personality that's out there now. John Cena is not he's pretty big. Big he's one of the last ones. Uh you know, The Rock was one of the big ones. Brock was a big one. They're not they don't have any just fucking regular big motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, they're regular guys. Like us, guys like, like me. Out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. I the one that Schumer was dating, he's he's there look at they're not us, they're fucking shredded and they're in shape. They're athletes. And I'm not saying but they're not those, big those, guys. Those guys. I'm just saying the like it'd be like everybody plays NFL football, right? But fucking the running back, you average like three and a half fucking years because of the pounding. Just you, you when you when you get hit, you get hit like three fucking times. Now, obviously, I understand the difference between a real fight and a fake fight. But these fucking guys are going out there. I mean, all I know, yeah, is but these that guys they, in they training, all, all, it's they not all end up being like fucking you, drug addicts. They're sparring. They're sparring all the time. They're sparring. All, it's not like they just do that well, one I, fight. I've watched. I've watched that shit. I know what you're saying. They're like, sparring. They're wrestling. Spar- they're they're fighting. Like they're boxing. Yeah, but he's saying anyway. wear and tear. Just yeah. Just constantly dropping a leg on someone. Like Hogan, I read an interview where he can't feel his fucking hands. Like he has no feeling in his hands because he was just crunching his vertebrae for 30 years dropping that leg Mankind on people. can't put his shoes on. You know, I don't know. Mankind. Four times yeah. a week. Literally Bob, can't Bob, put Bob, his let me ask you this, Bob. He can't four times a week. You got to leap up in the air as high as you can <laughs> and land on your ass. <laughs> four times a fucking week for 30 years. And then act like would it me. doesn't hurt you. I, would you me. rather do that? Right. Or be in the gym where you're sparring. You're not going 100. percent And I'm not saying that those guys don't have wear and tear. They don't have well, their. That's fucking what you're injuries. saying. I'm not, no, that's I'm not. what you're no, saying. I'm saying. You can't say both. Uh, no, no, no. You're not you, listening. Billy is saying that MMA <laughs> fighters <laughs> yeah. he will don't. Yeah. Fight yeah. No, I'm yeah. kidding. It's actually a very interesting question. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Is it equal wear and tear? Is is one a little? Is it surprisingly wrestling is worse? Is because MMA obviously a lot? That's all. I'm just asking I think, a question. I think that wrestlers all you guys with the writing on your shirt get mad at me and send me fucking emails <laughs> with, the, with, the glitter, look, with the glitter with the glittered skulls on their flicking. t-shirt. They're like oh, yeah. this guy's like so a fucking. Flick. I think that the fucking. I think that the MMA guys are training all day and they're training boxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, and they're sparring in those. They're, look at look at the, what's going on in MMA. Guys are getting hurt all the time because. They're they're spa- in sparring. But they're having, they're having like... Let me finish. Wrestlers aren't... They're going to the gym, pumping muscle, okay? And that's it. Hilarious. They're not... They're not hilarious. <laughs> how long did you watch wrestling? Dude, they're on the road. Remember how rough Side Splitter was? What if you did that one night and then had to go to fucking Topeka and leave yeah, but these guys, these and guys land are, on your fucking these, ass again and then go to the Dakotas, you're talk, put your finger Akron, in the air, Akron leap Civic up Center. in the air again, land on your... It's your yeah, but they don't move. go... They don't do that. They do Monday and Friday. That's it. No, they go. Then get on a they bus. Go. What They wrestle all week long. They do dark, read, they do read, dark read, matches. Read, what? Read, yeah, read, Where read they, Flair's fucking book. The guy was wrestling now they still do dark they, they do make dark matches pop. all the time they're in like the akron civic center they don't tape raw there then they go to a, like a fucking big arena tape raw then the next night they're in a fucking another place where no one is taping but they're wrestling like every night and here's the thing mma guys they do they beat the shit out of their bodies they're getting beat up but wrestlers have a much longer career where they're just kicking the shit out of themselves yeah but they have a much longer career because it's not as fucking bad on them as it is to actually fight no, you another don't get man knocked out and i'm talking yeah. about wear and tear Cartilage, <laughs> your fucking spine, dude. Those guys. I read that Ric Flair fucking book, dude. I, 
him trying to make it as a wrestler was arguably one of the most miserable experiences. Yeah. I've I always hate when somebody goes, I read the book, and I'm like, oh, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> it's, dude, it's, <laughs> you're in. Dude, it's Rick. I know. It's I know, but still, you're still in. Dostoevsky. Yeah. It's fucking I, I, I'm not even going to read our book. It's a guy that's comfortable <laughs> taking a chair to the face wrote that book. It's a, I think wrestlers, I think it's a different kind of wear and tear, like Bill was saying. It's like, like MMA fighters, you could have brain damage because you're getting punched in the fucking head. But these wrestlers have yeah, but, no knees or no bat. Like yeah, they're. I still think you're doing. Fun. I still think in the training process, you're still slamming your cartilage. I mean, you're not. Right, let's you're just not agree to disagree because this is just going to keep. You're saying what you're saying. We're saying what. And all I'm doing is asking. Yeah. <laughs> I, I. Well, you're you're saying it's true. I think don't, it's true too. I think it's. I think. Don't what? It's a different I'm wear and tear. You, I think I'm it's ask- a different wear and tear. It's a, it's a more they wear fight. and tear with wrestlers. I think MMA fighters take a, a bigger risk as far as injury goes because you can get your fucking jaw broken or your brain fucked up. But I think wrestlers take a more consistent beating to their bodies. Hey, how many MMA For guys are years. missing an ear? <laughs> well, they don't have ears. But, Mick Foley. Their ears. Get, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, they do. They have no, ears. They get mo- you ever see an MMA fighter's ear? Bobby. Would you stop it and just answer the question? Are they missing an ear? No, they no. have cauliflower ears. Yeah, they say. I'd rather fucking have it it's cut not. off than that fucking hunk of shit. There's <laughs> nothing worse than a. Uh, and then when you see them on the when they're doing the the. Um, they're doing the pre-fight when they're not fighting, yeah. and they have that fucking thing in there—that little hole coming yeah, out of that puffed-up yeah, ear. Yeah, it's just. Why don't that, we just oh. call Brock Lesnar and ask him? Let's go <laughs> and just say what was more. I got, I got him right here. Damn. No, you don't. I do. I have Brock. I have Paul Heyman's number. Who will get me Brock Lesnar? So why right did we now? just spend fucking twenty minutes? Because <laughs> well, I don't. I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't have anybody's number. I thought you did. <laughs> no. You're a little fanboy of the UFC. No. <laughs> I am a fanboy. You glitter. Pants. I'm a fanboy. <laughs> I'm a fanboy. Get on the red carpet. <laughs> I'm a fanboy of the UFC and fucking WWE. Hey, I like you both of them. Over here. <laughs> I'm Put a fanboy. I'm a fanboy of both of them. I love WWE. I still watch it. Monday Night Raw every Monday. I, I watch like it. all this shit. I like and I'll watch it in Telemundo it. if I miss it on Monday. There you go. That's which is a, even that's almost that's better. Which is way better. <laughs> See for you, Dora. Brooke Lesnar. Yeah. I accept the only intro that doesn't translate is the Spanish guy. The what? what? What's his name? They have the Spanish guy. Oh, uh, when he comes out and introduces Carlo, uh, he had it's the bell for a little bit. So funny! It's the only part of the show in Telemundo that they just play regular because he comes out and goes. <laughs> That's fucking great. I loved it. We used to watch it. Me and Patrice used to watch it. We used to you watch it. You guys got me back into I watched it when I was younger, and then they yeah. kept talking about this guy, oh, Rock, God. and it's Stone, Stone Cold. Stone. Yeah. And that, then you guys got me, and then once I got into it, it was the greatest thing. Oh, uh, The Rock. I, I dropped the after, rock. I, after Stone Cold and The Rock left, I stopped pretty much. Me too. Yeah. Being regular. They came back. But like, well, Stone Cold can't, because, well, again, he's got a neck injury. He re- yeah. Because he got pile driven, but they should bring, they should broke. bring him back as a fucking something like a commissioner. Well, they do. They have him as like a special ref sometimes. <laughs> yeah, they, like, they, there's a problem. They with walk that. him out. like you know, like with Jazz. Once Charlie Parker came out, like no one <laughs> could follow it. Like yeah. I think that that's what like The Rock and Stone Cold. Like you're never going to get another era like that. No. And the '80s were just the best. Just oh, yeah. big coked up monsters yelling. British Bulldog. A, yeah, he was great. I like I like the '80s. '80s were great. I loved uh, Piper's Pit was awesome. I mean, he smashed a coconut oh, no, on a man's guys, head. Those guys were awesome. Yeah, that was Rick Flair, if you're ever on the road and you're fucking going to kill yourself, just watch clips of him on the mic, dude. He's one of the funniest motherfuckers and, ever. And you can hear ever. the visceral hate when they're doing those AWA. You can hear people screaming at him like, I uh, fucking hate you, Flair. Yeah. And he's like, I'm the most gorgeous <laughs> man in the world. Yeah, he's great. And so, he like he's in tax trouble because he actually believed that was his life. And like went out and just fucking had like Rolls Royces and shit. And now he's like, uh, I got to keep wrestling. He, he's in he it now. To, he had to. Uh, yeah. My favorite thing that he said: I live in the biggest house on the biggest yeah. hill on the biggest in the biggest part of town. That's my, what, is that got more, what is the biggest <laughs> yeah. part of town? That's the greatest fucking line ever. And he always says he's so big, and all the cities he lists are all southern clusters. It's like Charlotte, Asheville. It's yeah. always like these fucking. <laughs> and I love when he goes, "I have more cars than most of you have friends." And you're like, "Ah, oh, this guy is fucking classic." <laughs> my shoes cost more than your house. You met, did you ever watch the fucking do- documentary on the Von Erichs? Remember the Von Erichs? Yeah, the Texas yeah. tornado. There. 
they're all dead. <sighs> they all died. Phenomenal wrestlers. Yeah, they Unf- were great. Fucking Kerry, how great was Kerry? Yeah, the whole Von family Eric. was fucking great. I used to, I remember when they came on. I was like, I wanted to be Kerry, the long haired one with. Yeah. I remember I wanted that dude, body. There's, there's another thing where you where you talk about wrestling, dude. Has anybody in MMA ever come in on a fucking like a goddamn Zip harness <laughs> and it snaps and you fucking die? Yeah. And Vince McMahon says, "Go fuck yourself." Here's the thing about MMA that or the difference. <laughs> Jerry Lawler His had a brother has to watch on, it. Son. His brother just had they to watch it. They didn't stop that, the like, event. They, they kept yeah. going. Jerry Lawler had a heart attack two weeks ago on Raw. I know. And they kept going with I the show. I saw that. That was fucking creepy. And it's like. Because you don't know. You're like, is this fun? <laughs> like, you're like. But you're looking at people's faces. You're like, this is was real. He, this is he, not. Shit. Was he laying face down doing that classic wrestler thing with the one leg just <laughs> banging <laughs> on the floor? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or, or when they do that after the big move where they do the fish flop. <laughs> where his fucking body just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, I, the Von Eric was it Cher during the party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Carrie Von, <laughs> it was in the script, dude. It was in the script. <laughs> Carrie Von Eric lost a leg, and then came he came uh, came back and wrestled. They put a fake leg on him, and he still came in and wrestled because he was the one all the chicks loved. He was he gorgeous. was the hot one, gorgeous. So they put a fake leg on him and put one of those big long white boots over it. Texas Tornado and a, and a shin. Carrie Von Eric, a, a knee pad. Four what times a week, Bobby, you got to sell the fucking clothesline and just allow uh, yourself way, to get you, hit Look, and you might, I think, the way you just described it, it sounds like you're trying to convince us that wrestling's <laughs> harder than MMA. <laughs> I, what you just well, said. look, um, what I'm saying is is that <laughs> I, I think maybe you're right if you're saying wear and tear. Wait, that's all I'm saying. I think that maybe. Losing limbs. But I would rather be around. Death, a, falling death, to your death. Full death, and, uh, taxes, <laughs> no money. <laughs> your life's yeah. just a heart attack How the on other, TV. The other, the other one died too. How do you eat? There's like a, the Von Eric. There was suicide. The whole family, There's yeah. a couple suicides. Oh, he killed himself. Murder yeah. Your family, Two suicides. That could even That's that a big thrown one. in. Yeah, yeah, who's that? Benoit. Benoit, Benoit yeah. yeah. It's uh, it like. Sickness, Bob. They yeah. got the sickness. <laughs> yeah. Not only that, but they're pumping roids and then having to do coke to get up. Not like, anymore. But in the 80s, they were all fucking. Not as much, I should say. They were all jacked up, yeah. just fucking railing look, behind Dude, look like, at all the fighters. Batista used to be fucking huge. Yeah. He's just a regular dude now. CM Punk is a regular guy. All the guys, um, the only, Shamrock, what's his name? Ken Shamrock. No, no, uh, the, 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 the new guy, the, the Irish guy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, fucking, uh, I don't know. Whatever. Know. He, he's a big I, guy, but, He's uh, there's not too many big guys anymore. They got rid of all that shit. It's the it's the personality guy now is the uh, is the star. There's not better personalities than it's, guys uh, on roids with yeah. coke in them. Like I agree. Hogan and Macho oh, Man. Did you I ever agree. Seen the Macho Man when he's coked up doing that interview. When he Mean Gene loses his shit when he walks yeah. in and he goes, then the beat goes on and the beat yeah. goes on. Yeah, and uh, Mean Gene's he, trying to corral him. What do you mean? <laughs> He's like getting you mad. Have you seen that? No. He keeps walking in and out of the fucking camera. He yeah. does half the thing with his back to it, just turning around. And he, at one point, he just goes like, <laughs> yeah. like this fucking coke the, thing. Yeah, the gummed out jaw. mouth. Yeah, and then there's somebody, he goes to ask him something else, and he like literally walks away. He just goes, he goes, and Macho Man, he goes, no more questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, and there you have it. I love how he, he was a total pro. Like, he just kept he, going. Because he was handling all these animals on fucking amphetamines, <laughs> and he's just getting them in the thing like, I loved Macho Man because you never, he always would just say a name and then trail off into something that made no sense. Now, like, he was, is he on, was he on drugs? It's, I think it's pretty confirmed he was on a lot of cocaine. What are you saying? Yeah. Go ahead. What were you doing? Them, yeah. yeah, but he just kept, like, they'd be like, you're taking on the honky tonk man. And then he'd be like, honky tonk man, yeah. Everyone knows that I go up and I go down. It just didn't start, it stopped making sense after a while. <laughs> and then he'd just leave and come back. He'd be like, yeah, and the broomstick is up in the kitchen, yeah. And they're like, I don't fucking, all right, <laughs> God damn it, Randy. God damn it, Randy. I fucking love it. Dude. And then they just oil them up and they fucking don't, throw them out They there. don't have <laughs> any fucking crazy... Nothing anymore. The only Stone one, Cold know, was the last. I'll best tell one. you who has potential, but they cut him off at the knees. Uh, Sant San, Santoro. Santoro. Uh, no, no. no San, what's his name? Ah, uh, fuck. I know who you're talking. Ah, uh, fuck. Did you ever see Ric Flair was born with a golden spoon in my mouth? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he said he goes. They used to go. Do you have writers? He goes. Nah, I used to come with that shit in the cab ride on the one of coming over from the airport. <laughs> I'm gonna go to my WWE I app. He points like the fiftieth time he said I was born with the golden spoon in my mouth. He goes, I was born with the golden spoon. He starts pointing into his mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In my mouth. In my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love that he yelling go- at four people <laughs> about how much more money he has than them. It's that the was- funniest <laughs> fucking thing ever. He's just in some shed in Alabama with like 60 people and they're like I got more money than all of you and they're all going 
fuck you! <laughs> they're trying, they had to put duct tape on their engine to get there, and they're just fucking still upset. Dude, uh, Andy Coffin, when you're down there. Oh, I, 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 Nate he and I ripped were, off Ric Flair, I thought. Like, he was doing Andy Ric Coffin, Flair. Yeah. He just did the Hollywood I'm version. from Hollywood. Yeah. I kept doing that. We were in Tennessee together, and I kept going, what am I from Memphis, Tennessee? Uh, yeah, that shit they was, believe, that's the best, is like, that they're just, those people are like, so believe it. Like no one ever. Dude, thought. his whole angle was I can beat up any woman. <laughs> yeah, out there. I'm only. He's beat up women as big as. Uh, Jerry well, Lawler. Like, I've like, wrestled so why women could I bigger than you. you. Why could I not if I've beat up women as big as you? <laughs> He just did. He was like, I don't understand why. And people were just like, this guy, like, just getting furious. Get him, Jerry. <laughs> You're our only chance of redemption <laughs> is Jerry the King. Now, Impact Wrestling. That's like. Is that. Does McMahon own that, too? No, 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 no. Uh, that's like uh, Impact's like TNA. That's like uh, Hogan, um, Kurt Angle, Diamond Eric- Dallas Page was a part of that for right. a long time. Really? Yeah, Eric Bischoff. Like, a lot of the guys that. Uh, <laughs> I know. Wait. Hey, can we just pay Bobby just for one week, four times from four nights in a row to to leap up in the air Mm -hmm. and land on his ass, or for me to pick him up and just throw him down on a very bouncy? I'm not saying that. that, (laughs) I I know that that hurts. I know. I'm. I know wrestling is a sport. No wear and tear. Wear and tear. I. I. I kind of. I. I am coming over to your side. I. I think that. To do it and to do it for the side, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Bobby Kelly, you've been saying it with me. Yeah, well, I got some information for you. Yeah, Andre couldn't. Andre couldn't get in the ring at the end of his career because he was such a giant man. He took. Yeah, but he was also seventy-eight. Well, he was also a rabid alcoholic. I was, yeah, I know. I thought he was. He died young. I, I, was, I loved his finishing move. He just well, he's a giant. Leg up yeah. straight. Yeah. 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 Giant years. He yeah. was seventy. In giant he years, he was one hundred and fifty. He was like twenty-three in human yeah. years, <laughs> but in giant years, he, he was, was way scarier with longer hair. With the he, fro he and the fro. and the tiny trunks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Before he was old, and he just wore like Ultimate Warrior. He. You know what? Is he dead? Right? No, he's he's alive. He's like a crazy. Like he rants online. There's yeah. a great story about Ultimate Warrior. Uh, there's a documentary called The Self-Destruction of the Ultimate Warrior. Right. And Bobby Heenan tells this story that they were doing an angle with Andre the Giant versus Ultimate Warrior. But Ultimate Warrior was just, he was all muscle. He had no skill. He couldn't work the ring. And he was working with Andre. And Andre is like the class act. And they were supposed to do a move where Andre whipped him into the ropes and then came and got clotheslined. Right. But the warrior was running too quick. He didn't understand the timing. So he's just running into Andre. And he said the first night, Andre was like, just made this grunt. And then he did it again. And Bobby's like talking to Andre backstage. He's like, this guy's not going to get the move. He's like, I got it, boss. Don't worry. And then he fucking <laughs> threw him. And, and the warrior came too quick. And Andre just put out his fucking fist and knocked him out cold. He <laughs> said he cracked the paint. And, and the warrior was just out. And just fucking Andre put his foot on and got the three count. And was like, oh. <laughs> I just fucking love it. I love that this big alcoholic's like, I got him, don't worry. I'll take care of him. Sports Illustrated a long time ago took a picture of Andre holding a can of Budweiser, and the can basically it just went from one side of his hand to the other. Because yeah. he, they said he drank 100 beers one night, and you're like, there's no way. And you looked at it, it's like he was drinking shots of beer. Yeah, exactly. He was doing a power hour. Uh-huh. He, uh, him and Hogan used to go around Japan. And they had a van where Andre would take out the seats so he could stretch his legs. And Hogan was like kind of like it's the probably b- a bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Hogan was the bitch, and he used to drink. Andre used to drink those tall boy Sapporo like Japanese beers, and just slam beers, crush the cans, and throw them at Hogan's head. And uh-huh. every stop, Hogan had to get out, grab the cans, and go get him more beer. Like that was his job. Oh, when he was getting initiated? when he was yeah when he was like the opener. For Jesus. Andre. Dude, how tall are you that you're throwing fucking cans at some guy six foot seven? <laughs> <laughs> and it does Just not. Head. He, it didn't make him pick them up. Yeah, and there's like, like. And you're going to pick these up. There's great stories of them and being in Japan, and Andre couldn't use the toilets because they're so small. And he said Hogan got a phone call one time. He's like, hey, boss, come up here. And he just shit <laughs> on. He put newspapers out and just took a dump in his hotel room and was like laughing about it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, like, so, there you go. There you There's go. another example. Yeah, it's harder. Seg- the wear and tear. The, the wear and tear. tear. <laughs> yeah, you, man, UFC guys don't shit on the floor because <laughs> they're too big. Because <laughs> they're human. Yeah. No, you know, okay, now, now let's be fair to MMA. When those motherfuckers are laying on the ground 
and somebody's just doing one elbow to another, <laughs> yeah, the sh- and they're just sort of looking over the clock. All right, another 15 seconds <laughs> of forearm shivers to the fucking head. Like, yeah. dude, one of those. I would never fight again. <laughs> That's a, Brock, right got kick, Brock got kicked. Brock got kneed to the solar plexus, and he tried to take it. If you watch it in slow motion, he tried to Brock it out, yeah. and then he went, oh, <laughs> no, and what? then he went, ow. Oh. You could see him, <laughs> and he just folded, went to the yeah. ground, and al- like <laughs> almost cried. Liver, liver shot? Yeah, right, right to the solar plexus. Well, he was right taking here, yeah. just hit he a had, knee the right here. Does exist? Isn't that a made-up wrestling term? I always thought that they, whenever somebody got kicked in the balls, they always said, oh, to the solar plexus. No, the, the bread, bread basket. basket. Yeah, the, the bread, bread basket. basket. That was the bread basket. <laughs> right in the bread, bread basket. basket. You know what I watched today, though? <laughs> I tell you, you this. Your bread under the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Online today at M- MMA TKO. Great if you website. go there today, they have in full UFC 1 and UFC 2. With oh. when Ken Shamrock. Hoist Gracie. Oh, when the Ken f- pretended he didn't tap out, but he did. When he didn't. Yeah. T- and then Gracie, Gr- Gracie, I felt bad because the next guy, he choked out. He wouldn't let go. <laughs> he made him tap 17 times because the no, ref no. was like, let him go. And he's like, the guy's tapping. And he, he was like, fuck that. And he just held on. I what? thought he fucked up Shamrock's arm the second time. No. He, a minute, though. The, I thought that that's how it no, was. No, the first fight they had. I think the he f- might be mistaken. No, I'm after, I just watched the whole <laughs> thing. <and> t- <laughs> <laughs> what he did, Shamrock, Shamrock beat the fuck out of the guy. Who was, yeah. He did an uh, ankle crank on him. Then he went against Hoist. Hoist tapped him out, choked him. He tapped five times. That's funny. And then the ref, because he didn't know what the fuck to do. Yeah. He didn't know what any of this shit was. The ref, the first fight, you knew things were in trouble. The he, uh, uh, karate guy fought a sumo. Dude, that's the, I remember watching that live when he gets kicked in the, the guy, the, the guy, the, who? The, the sumo guy ran after him, threw him to the ground, kicked him to the face. And his teeth flew out. Yeah. Well, and the, the announcer was... goes like, hang on. The announcer goes, I, I think I, I think the teeth just flew by. <laughs> and he said to the woman announcer, did you catch one of those? And she's like, no. The no. sumo teeth, guy? The, no, sumo te- the sumo kicked. guy's teeth, teeth got kicked out of his mouth and flew by the announcers. The reason why those first two were so good is because everybody just knew their style. Yeah. And after years of people going like, dude, uh. a fucking sumo wrestler would kick this, you finally got to see. Yeah. yeah. Basically. Uh. When that guy spun around and kicked that sumo guy in the face, he's like 350 and the teeth fly and you just see a big guy go, I don't want to do this anymore. You like, see them throw the towel in? They oh. threw the towel in and the guy looked at the towel like... <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, I don't want to do this anymore, but I'm a sumo. And then they took... Dude, the the next fight with uh, Hoist Gracie was fuck. He's just insane. He comes in, and he just taps everybody. He tapped Shamrock. He gets him uh, in a choke. Shamrock taps five times. Then he lets go. The ref didn't see it. So... Shamrock immediately goes, no, I didn't tap. <laughs> and yeah. Hoist is like, fuck. And then, dude, you tap, you tap. He's <laughs> yelling at him. And then he made, I, he just made uh, Shamrock go, all right, all right, I tapped. I lied. I tapped. No, they kept <laughs> fighting, dude. No, he admitted to it. He, he, if you watch the tape, you look at Shamrock. I, wrong. I swear to God, I'll pull it up right now. He Shamrock goes, wrong. He's, he, no, he's not. He stays on him. He stays on his yeah, back, screaming at him. <laughs> <laughs> he's, so he's, screaming, he's screaming at Shamrock And then Shamrock looks back Then looks at the ref And he goes He shakes his head He goes I tapped And that's when they get up And the match is over you, and, and I th- remember Patrice calling me When that first thing came out Because nobody knew anything About Brazilian Jiu Jitsu yeah. It was like a whole new kind of fighting And he was screaming I had to hold the phone Like 10 feet from my fucking head ahead on the other side of the room as he's yelling about this little dude <laughs> and I'm going what is he doing he's like I don't know it's like they're on this motherfucker and then they're just like alright 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 because right, right. he had no idea like what yeah. the fuck because you know it's all in close yeah, like, fucking, hey, look at that. and it, there was no like Rogan guy to be sitting there going like he's going for this he's got a Kimura for that. Yeah, they had Dana no White's idea. hanging with your father uh, there's a uh there it is right here. UFC like four, there's a Canadian guy that wears a karate gi with cut off sleeves and he's got like a mullet and it's, he just he, runs and just fucking punches people. It's Kempo oh, Karate. Yeah. It's Kempo Karate. What's the guy's name? He's I forget a Canadian. His name. He, I, that guy was the shit. He, he's fucking bam, like bam, bam, live bam. rock him, he, he, him. He broke his hand on the sumo's head. Yeah. He ran across, punched him, knocked him down and then. What is I, this? 
Welcome back to Wear and Tear, this Wrestling's is- <laughs> number one <laughs> podcast. <laughs> you don't think this sport hurts? <laughs> Leap in the air and land on your ass four We're times dropping. a week We're for dropping 30 elbows. years. Then call us. <laughs> We're you know, dropping you, elbows. You know what was <laughs> legal, though, in the first one? You could kick in the nuts. Really? You, there's a, there's this, <laughs> the second one, a guy runs across the ring, pushes the guy down, and then punches him in the nuts. <laughs> 28 times. There's no way this white dude I think that's the same Canadian guy that I'm talking about. Yeah. He had the mullet and the cut-off karate gi, which is possibly my favorite thing ever. Yeah. When you have a frayed karate gi, you're just... <laughs> oh, this is the best. Wait, this is the best. Fucking... Oh, the this guy, guy one boxing one glove. One boxing glove. <laughs> yeah. He's a boxer, and he put it on his, his power punch hand, <laughs> and he went in against Hoist. Hoist Gracie with a boxing glove on. It's literally... You, you put fu- him on a bat. He's basically wearing a mitten now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're fighting it's, a Gracie with a mitten. It's the fucking best. It's one of those carnival bigger gloves. Like no, it's actually... Fucking. It's actually like a four ounce glove. It's a yeah. real small box. I would love glove. to see though, uh, like Floyd Mayweather, where you got a guy because like none of those guys can box as good as a boxer because that's yeah. all they do. And I would just love to see if he could hit the dude before he could get him on the ground. Because the second he gets you on the ground, if you got the fucking you know He's fast, minutes, dude, like, you're done. <laughs> well, Couture, the headbutting was legal too back then. Couture fought James Tony. I mean, granted, were illegal. Granted, this Tony was head. The only thing that was illegal. The only thing. Look at this guy with boxing shoes. He has boxing, boxing, boxing shoes. He has Voices boxing on shoes. him like a fucking spider. You couldn't eye gouge. You couldn't eye gouge. That's it. You that couldn't was, stick your finger in somebody's. Was there eye. hair pulling? Was there? Yeah, m- was Royce like, Gracie won the next one. Hair it was pulling? two or three by grabbing. Uh, uh, his hair, his ponytail, holding it and punching his face. He did a glamorous ladies of wrestling move, a glow move. <laughs> he fought. He fought. Uh, this guy's what, actually chemo, to- who had fucking. He was just. I a remember cr- chemo. He had Jesus written yeah. across his chest, a tattoo. He just looked like he came from fucking like hell. And he, uh, Hoist grabbed his, tattoo? yeah, he grabbed his, <laughs> uh, true. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's why he's Is that why he got kicked out of hell? Because they go, well, that's not. Well, he, you, you're not supposed <laughs> to do that. That's yeah. the Lord's name in vain over he and over tapped again. Out, he tapped out the ref stinks. Yeah, that, see, yeah. They didn't know, though. They didn't know what he was doing. The refs didn't know what jiu-jitsu was. <laughs> so this guy, he know, they know people get knocked out and kicked uh, in the face. And that was the shit right there. And the police, he, I don't know what the fuck he just did. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's, this guy's like, what the fuck just happened? Dude, and you fought like nine times that night. Like, by the, <laughs> voice by the end, like his fucking gi is all yanked. <laughs> oh, and he's fighting guys like 20 times his size. There's I bet no like weight yeah. classes. That, after there's the, Shamrock right there. Cranking a guy's knee. I like oh. after the fight, you know, they hug. Like, at the, like if, if Gracie like hugged him and kind of like just pushed like a pressure point, and he was like, "All right, dude." Like, that's <laughs> like you just kept doing it a little bit he's just to show how awesome. Look at that, are. fucking with him after the fight. Yeah, huh? he's like, dude, that's I'll tell you what right, though, right, they right, didn't yeah. hug. They didn't hug a knees. They fucking hated each other. They Shamrock tried to fight the guy. They just hugged. Right? Shamrock tried Jim to fight Brown the guy at the is end. One of the announcers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this was back when like like Larry Zonka was doing American Gladiators. And they just had to have oh, those yeah. old football players just do these. Dude, Ken Shamrock was shredded, though. Oh, God. He's fucking just shredded. They hate each other. Here it is right here. Look, he's still fucking fighting it. Come on, you fuck. This fight was over in seconds, too. And, and Shamrock. We tilted a little? Yeah, sure. I wish I had the TV. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Fighting out of the red corner. Nobody knew anything Fighting. about it. <laughs> Uh, Here we go. Oh, look at this. He gets him down. And they just don't know what he's going to do. Oh, And they don't yeah. know what. Look at his defense. They, nobody knew what to do. <laughs> they, did the, they did the younger brother just fucking yeah, yeah. Put your, lay on the back and fucking are, bicycle uh, kick your feet. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> <laughs> stop, slapping, stop slapping yourself. He's doing the typewriter on his chest. Yeah. Ken Shamrock, this is back then. They, he wore swim trunks. Those are now, Speedos? Those are Speedos. He wore Speedos with a cup. Just so there would be nothing to grab onto. Yeah. But having a gi is actually See, better. There it is. Tap, yeah. Look, watch. Tap twice. Watch this. Watch. He stays on him. The ref has no watch idea. Watch what he does. Look, he's yelling at him. Then watch him nod his head. Say you tapped. Say you tapped. He's yelling at him. Watch. Say you tapped. All right, I tapped. Oh, yeah. Wow. He tapped. He admitted oh, no, to wait, tapping. No, wait. Wait. Let's see him shaking his head. He's going like yeah. this. I did it. Yep. See? Yep. Yep. He just said yep. He just Jesus. said it. He said, yep. Uh, and he keeps, he keeps yelling at him. How does that happen? How do you forget what happened? <laughs> I mean, like your I saw, your I, air I, I goes I out. I think, like I think I combined the next fight. Because the next fight, the next guy. Yeah. Now, that's and fucked they're... up. So he did that to the other guy when Shamrock didn't tap out? 
So yeah. the other guy's elbow has to pay? Dude, the next one, you ready? I love he's you asking ready? him. He's like, what the fuck you did ready? you just do? Do you want to see what happens to the other guy? This oh, is that's sad. The guy that, that's the guy that knocked out the sumo fighter. Yeah. This is what's sad, what happens to this fucking guy. This the, convicted and this is Look at him. <laughs> that literally looks like... He runs is, an Aryan Nation meeting. Look, he's headbutting him. To the back of the head. Watch this. This is, this, is, this is what he did to the next guy because of fucking Ken Shamrock, that dick. Are they, does he even leave the ring or does he just stand in there? Watch, and like, ready? Here we go. Here we go. And he's like, next. All right, he's choking him out. There we go. Watch. Gotta, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Both hands. Double tap. Double hand both tap hands. the double hand. Shit. Ah, oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, you better fucking see it now, ref. <laughs> hey, Horse Crazy could have just. Yeah, he's really, like mad. He's like, fucking. Guy just played Moby Dick on the <laughs> fucking map. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that shit. That was that was the first one. They have the second one up there too, and Gracie won that. I want to find the Canadian guy. Dude, just the look on Gracie's face, I would tap. I took. Like, I don't want to. Whatever he's thinking, I don't want to <laughs> feel. With, I don't want to feel with that. I don't want to feel those thoughts. Portuguese, Portuguese just getting hurled at you. <laughs> oh, it was fucking great, dude. I, I'm gonna watch the other one today. Those are my favorite. Patrice did the same thing to me too. He used to always call you up and go, "Dude, turn on channel 472." He used to always go, "Are you watching this?" Yeah. You yeah. pick this like fucking six thousand channels. You pick up the phone. You be like, you watching this? Half the time you would be. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing. Like I don't know. Like, comedians gravitate towards the same. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keith does the same thing whenever anybody's about ready to get booed, singing during a, some Philly, <laughs> Philadelphia team thing. I remember he called me up when uh, Destiny's Child got booed. Was they about, did. Was about to get booed. Oh yeah. The, I don't know if the, if the clip exists anywhere on YouTube, but. It was the NBA Finals where it was the Sixers and the Lakers. Right. And they came out, and it was, you know, Beyonce, Kelly, and then the other girl. Yeah. And they all came out in these sexy little, like, one had a glitter Sixers outfit, like, you know, tank top and booty shorts. The other had a glitter uh, Lakers, and the other one just had the NBA. So they were trying to be neutral in uh -huh. Philly. <laughs> and they went out, and they were singing Bootylicious, this one of their songs. And Keith just calls out, Barry, you watching this? And I'm like, yeah, he's about there, Barry, take a fat one. <laughs> because he can feel it coming. And then they said, the end, da -da 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 licious and the fuck crowd just goes, boo! <laughs> and for, like literally a split second, Beyonce just goes, oh! <gasps> Like, with this face, and they immediately cut to commercial. <laughs> I don't know if that exists. I saw uh, Ja Rule and Ashanti decided that, that rapping and singing yeah. halftime at an Eagles game. <laughs> Veterans Stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that's... That'll work. This will be a good game. Now the time Keith caught... Well, watch this one, Burr. This is going <laughs> to... Listen to this racist boo. There was like, a... And, and, and the last girl. The girl got caught lip syncing. At an Eagles game? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Oh, on Simpsons. SNL. On Sim SNL. Oh, Simpsons. Oh. Ashley, Ashley Simpson. They, uh, yeah. Hall and Oates, it's hilarious. They, uh, they did a halftime at an Eagles game. What? And they were doing oh. new shit. Uh -huh. and, oh, they boy. Just, and then all of a sudden the boos start coming in and they kind of look at each other and they're just like, you're a rich girl. Yeah. They, go right, oh, they, go, they go right into the hits. I have eight eyes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a great look though they're like hey, fuck and that's literally like fucking 30 years of show bits together you give them a look like alright dude fuck this go to the hits yeah, go to yeah. the one that close go, go, to, go to the chicken wire set list <laughs> yeah. oh the blues brothers set list yeah fuck ah, that ah shit now, you, you're the only one that took a hot one and gave it right back to him no, I was the only one who got it filmed. There was there's been guys that done really. It yeah. and that was, when that happened, dude. I we never talked about it ever. I was there. I rode down with you and back. We rode down together and back, and it was fucking. You were pissed, man. You were like fuck, but that that actually helped your career in some weird way. Yeah, Did you right. Think, Somehow, you didn't yeah. think anything would ever come out like yeah. it was just no. Like I was mortified. A bad night. When it was over. Yeah. I was mortified. I had a headache, and I was. I I knew you guys thought it was funny. And gave me respect, but I also knew that you guys understood comedy, and I just wasn't sure how regular people seeing it were just going to put it up, and it was going to be me getting booed. There's yeah. people don't understand, like, but it's legendary that now. It's like, yeah, well, I mean, I didn't know that that night, but I was like, for like three days, I was kind of walking around, really, <laughs> like, no, walking around New York, like, you know, what, you have, you ever hear that you have a death grip? <laughs> like, yeah, like, death, like my mind was just stuck. when you're on the road <laughs> driving uh, too long to a gig and you're gonna be late and just no, holding I, on to I was fucking mentally walking around the city just like I don't what know I was, doing? I was in some sort of fucking uh, stressed out mode I don't know what it took like three days I'm not even bullshit a friend of mine really? was there a friend of mine was there and like got you to sign his ticket afterwards and I was like what was that like how did I even know someone in the audience who was there that day, and he was yeah. like, "It was he. He's I'm, a comic, and he was like, it was amazing.' I could never do it again, though. It was just, yeah. well. Next I, week, I lucked out. I was the right kind of mad. That I knew, I knew enough quarter. about their their 
sport, but I could I could never do the that. The next week in Cleveland, it's like, it's like hitting a half court shot. The next week in Cleveland, they tried to the crowd tried to reenact something that that look, they that, booed me for no reason. And for no I was reason. supposed to pretend to get mad and oh. trash Cleveland. Oh, yeah, I went back. Hat. I remember going back. That sucked. That one yeah. was that and was the real. The real fireworks were backstage because I, I still we were sharing up. a we were sharing a green I, room. I let uh, I let fucking uh, Jeff Wills have it because I told the guy going. I just felt it because a few pe- people before the show saw me. And they just go, boo, like they're already booing me. <gasps> yeah. So I said, oh. I said to Jeff, I go, dude, do me a favor. Can you fucking move me up? Give me yeah. a chance before these guys get fucking hanged. We were in that stupid airport hangar or whatever the hell we were. Yeah, or we had the dressing room uh, in like yeah, a box cart or some shit. sent me back out, you know, it was just, yeah, it was over. I went back <laughs> into the dressing room and it was fucking torn apart. It was just a lamp broken in half. <laughs> I, no, I, saw, I threw the fucking water and then I and then I left. Didn't they try to do? I saw them do it. I thought here in New York, like you can, an audience will try, and then you're like, "All right, we're not doing." Like that's it's no. Past. It was no. It was just during that. T- like I, I I really catastrophized and thought my career was over. That, that that's what they're gonna want me to do. And then I still remember the first gig I had after that was the Punchline in San Francisco. Most of them hadn't even seen it. And then I was also forgetting, like, no, I'm gonna be in a comedy club. Where I can see everybody. Where you can yeah. be really bold right. in lawn seats. <laughs> fucking, you know, it was the Opie and Anthony. Yeah. Was 12, that was 12,000 people, 10 to 12,000 people that were tailgating for five hours <laughs> you know, before the show. Yeah, but we knew that show was coming. Yeah. For the first time when we did Worcester, I was worried. I was like, these, these guys, this is going to oh, well, Me and Voss would walk around pacing <laughs> backstage an hour before the show. <laughs> like, I would, I had, I had literally seven minutes set, maybe ten minutes set. I would write it down, rewrite it, go over it, because someone was getting it. I always blame Voss, not blame Voss, but... <laughs> it's easy. No, <laughs> he, he threw gas on the fire, because the first guy got booed, and rather than being like, hey, guys, we're here to give you a fucking show, but blah, 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 he went back out, made fun of the dude, <laughs> and then started bombing himself and said, hey, if you guys don't laugh, I'll bring so-and-so back. So I felt at that point he kind of turned the keys over, like, I, yeah. you know... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's comfortable in that environment. So, like. okay, you don't know who I am. Okay, <laughs> I'm Vich Voss. Okay, oh. yeah. Who I, I knew I was in trouble. I remember I rare bombed Tra- and Tra- Tracy Morgan only did like fucking eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah. Yeah, he only lied on the ground talking about his asshole for eight minutes. No, he <laughs> he felt it coming, and I was just going, oh no. Because you know those, you know the those, rumblings. Uh, those, the uptown rooms. I've been booed in those fucking things. You do those things enough, you feel it coming. Uh, you feel, and he was out there, did his shit, stuck and moving. And he was just like, ah, oh, fuck you this. Ah, right, guys, take it easy. And he walked out. And you I was see just the water? Going like, I was like, that was a smart move right yeah. there. That was a smart fucking. You can move. see it coming. The water's coming was, back from the shore, and you're yeah. like, oh god. It was such a oh. long show, man. It was. I mean, we got there in the afternoon. These fucking. They had all this crazy shit we were doing. It was broad daylight. Half the crowd is still sitting down. They took a break. He had his whole family there. The poor pastor. Who? Oh, Schum. Nah, uh, I don't ever say names. (laughs) Everybody knows about it. Everybody knows about it. It it was. It was fucking. Yes, it's all. All they showed was my set. No, they didn't. Everybody knows who bombed on that show. No, and they don't, because people go, the, what they say now is like, everybody on this show got booed, and then Bill went up and said, fuck this. Yeah. That's not what happened. The first dude got booed. The rest of you guys, you had a great set. Two people got booed before you. No. Absolutely. Oh, no. Herrera got a little bit. Herrera, Herrera, Herrera got a little bit. Shot the fuck up, and he didn't leave. Right. But he never got credit for that. Yeah, no. It was Voss, Voss, somebody, then me, then Patrice. What? Got... No, none of you guys got booed. None of us got booed. No, see, no, no. It went the dude who got booed. <laughs> Boss was hosting. Dude, Ralphie May was on that show. Huh. Fucking show was unreal. Tracy Moore was on that show. I, I want to say, what's his face? Was Bob, Bob, Bob Saget, Saget was, was on that show. show. The and fucking lineup was unbelievable. It was fucking these guys stupid. Were like, they were all the fuck. There was, <laughs> yeah, but they would put they would like they would put me on the first half anywhere they needed me. I would go. I never had a like. I'd show up and I'd just be after Patrice or after this guy or after Saget, and they'd you put were after Billy. The break. Yeah, no, I was before the break always. You were after the break. You had to go up after the this break. This might be another Ken Shamrock moment. <laughs> <laughs> I have it. Wear and tear. No, no. Go to YouTube again. I thought that it went. It, there was no, they, you, the intermission where they showed Opie getting raped by Jim. Yep. And that guy eating the pus out of the dude's ear and you puking. Ugh. Right. It was disgusting. Gross. And then there was. Uh, then you came out of the break, and then Dom Herrera, and then me. That was the back end of the show. You, 
uh, Dom, me, and then Jim Norton. Jim Norton. Well, that, yeah. No, goes it was up, that never guy. Never addresses what happens. <laughs> just goes right into his set like he's on the Tonight Show and fucking leveled. Oh, really? Leveled. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because uh, what's his name? It was it was Dom. I've got the list. And yeah. then the guy who bombed. You got the list. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it was then 2006 you, or 2007. Yeah, there you go. Good. Good. Go what's the list? September 2006. Uh, okay, Kelly. September Kelly, 9th? the first time Kelly? she's ever. No, no, ever. Is, is, Stop one second. This is the first oh, time she's ever. Drama. She's ever used the computer. We've had this for in the right way. She's ever fucking done this. What she's supposed to do? Some and she just did it. Yeah. All right. For this the guy. Love, for the love of God. <laughs> September 9th is in Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bob Saget. Uh, I'm, I'm saying names. Just go ahead. Right. Oh, you don't have the order. I, I do have the order. Bob Saget, Jimmy Schubert. Well, this is the yeah. order it says on uh, Wikipedia. No, Jimmy took the beach. Oh, he went okay. out first. Yeah. Oh, okay. It says Bob was first, then Jim, then Dom, then Bob, then Bill, then Ralphie, Patrice, Rich, and Tracy. No. So they have the no. right? That's not the order. Okay, not so they have who was there. Oh, I couldn't even. No. Oh, no. That's not even the same, uh, not the same show. That's not even remotely. That's the show. It says Atlanta on that's the top. That's the show. Patrice always got on before the break. I was always on before Patrice. Always. They always put me on before Patrice. I was always on the first half. I never went on the second half. That's what sucked about you because you were like, dude, it, I'm not going on for three, till three hours into the fucking show. Yeah, Jimmy Schubert got booed at seven something and I yeah. went on after 10 o'clock. <laughs> Yeah. The I mean, ideal yeah. comedy show is about 90 yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is a six-hour marathon indoors, show. Indoors. There was a guy in the front row, so drunk, screaming at me, going, Fuck you! No. You fucking fuck! Oh, man. Just that. Just calling me, you fucking fuck, fuck you, screaming in the front row. And someone had to, like, grab him and just... Drag him out of there. Perfect for live performance. It was fucking crazy, dude. It was a crazy, crazy time. And after that happened, it was even more intense. And when they called you, I kept asking for more money, hoping they'd say, <laughs> But after that happened, they're like, just give them what they want, because nobody wanted to do it. They had Carlos Mencia do it, too. He got a hot one. Mike Babiglia fought back. A lot of people, I mean, your comic instinct goes in, but nothing to what you do when and I we saw no remember we wrote because I've told this story a zillion times what yeah. happened we drove home yeah in kind of silence in silence yeah, <laughs> yeah. Correctly. you were mumbling I had a splitting fucking you, headache you were mumbling every once in a while something would come out like fucking you know what the fuck and then you'd oh, I was pissed and fuck then you'd throw something tour. yeah <laughs> I fucking this shit. dude I knew <laughs> in my heart of hearts I knew not to go to Cleveland and I still went like a fucking idiot and I was just like I'm not doing this I'm not doing this and you bailed you, sh you shut down the rest yeah, of the I was tour like, I'm not fucking I'm not gonna become that guy yeah <laughs> he's here let's boo him you're selling, yeah, if you're selling t-shirts yeah, yeah. that say boo if you would have uh, went that route and that's what your career is now, yeah. you just have come to on everybody and, give it to me and then you gotta go up and just hammer them off it's like Bill the Boo Burr. Be shot. Bill the uh, Boo Burr. Oh, yeah. It's those like they hate you, but they love you. Every night you set out, yeah, the opening, yelling at you. The opening band was so bad, they were still booing them yeah, when we like, were off. You have to have a certain do? number of people because you can't get 600. I can't get over those amount of boos. He calls his he, he calls his fans ghosts. Hope he tried to talk. He's the ghost killer. Into when we did, did that tour oh, again God. the next year, it's like, dude, I, there's no fucking <laughs> back out on that. You saw what happened in Cleveland. I'm not doing it. And then he goes, well, could you at least do Philly? That's what he said. No way. <laughs> They're trying to get you to re-enlist in Vietnam. No, you know, he, he's, he's... Yeah, he loves dude, to he's run. Smart, yeah, it's the show first. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then you're fucking bleeding jugular. That's the genius of the show. Can't you just put some gauze in? <laughs> we'll only let you bleed for 10 minutes. Come on, bro. <laughs> for the show. Yeah, do it for the show. He really dude. is like that. Uh, my voice is shot, and I was on the show the other day, and he's still trying to make me throw up mm -hmm. by throwing me, showing me maggots up some guy's mm -hmm. nose. And I'm like, I'm not looking at it, dude. I have fucking six shows. Shows to do you twat. I'm not throwing up for your fucking fans and lose my voice to you fucking in for five minutes of maybe he's the funny. Point guard. Oh, yeah. he's the point guy. He pushes the pace. Just keep he, moving. Listen, keep moving. Bobby, if you didn't come to play, don't don't uh, put your sneakers yeah. on. Tap your helmet. They'll send someone else in. Is that what they do? That was my favorite thing about has always been about the Opie and Anthony show. Is with like I well, I was in, probably did it like for three weeks and I was I I quickly realized these guys never. Ask the question like, "Well, what if this happens?" Like they just came up with a bit. There was no sort of like, "Well, what's the worst possible case scenario?" Never asked that question. They would just do shit. I mean, what? What? Like two weeks in, that? Uh, no, I was gonna say Bernie Madoff. Who was the guy who shot all those kids on the on the, uh, the subway? 
Uh, the Bernie Getz. Bernie, Bernie Getz. We had him in there. I remember that show. And just tried to make him as mad. Oh God. <laughs> as we could. The subway vigilante. Yeah, Dude, it was. It was. It was scary. For office. He was running for office. And he was going into his bag and. Uh, he had a bag. No one frisked him. Yeah, like, frisked him. Not I was yelling him. something at nope. him like. Uh, <laughs> Something about don't take any shit. It was something along those lines. And it wasn't until I listened to the playback that I was realizing, what the fuck was I? You know, you get the microphone and you're like, you feel like you're in the safety zone. Yeah. Hey, I got a microphone in front of me. me. When I'm here. Hey, it's fine. It's going to hit the mic and ricochet. <laughs> <laughs> Can't shoot somebody with it. That was, a, that was a creepy show. Listening to that show, it was like, oh, fuck me. You guys so took a, a guy that actually killed people and you're like, come on, really, yeah. come on, fight back. Yeah, and he, yeah. Was, huh? he was a cartoon. He was a cartoon. To, to, I wasn't even thinking. Yeah. And it wasn't, yeah, so the playback. It's like the way you talk to the TV. You're like, fuck you. But you're in the room with him, and the guy killed fucking people. Yeah, he said something like, oh, you guys just came here to kind of make fun of me. Or oh, something, shit. something along, uh, are you not taking me seriously? <laughs> his <laughs> eyes or twitching. Is, is did, that he that? Cr- did he crack his neck when he said it? Yeah. Like, right. He said the same thing probably to those kids. Yeah. Like the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. no, you know what? I can't remember if it was that. I have no memory anymore. I can't remember if it was that <laughs> or if it was that dude who, where they said, you know, they brought him on that talk show and said somebody had a crush on you when it was a gay guy. And oh, he was yeah. like, oh, 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 you guys tricked me. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, and, then it wasn't that, a, and then he killed the kid. Yeah, he, he killed, killed the, the guy, Jones. his buddy. Yeah, the chick with the red glasses. Oh. I thought it was Jenny Jones. No, is it Jenny Jones? I the girl who had, had the red frame glasses. Sally Just Jesse Sally Raphael. Raphael. Sally Jesse Raphael, who really <laughs> fell know. off, by the way. <laughs> I love her. If you've seen her yeah, lately. Yeah, when your guest kills another guest, that's kind of uh, yeah, she's bad not, for business. She does not look too well. Yeah. She was hot for a minute with those glasses. What? She was the biggest thing in the world, too. No, those her glasses were hot in the 80s. The, the red frame They were hot. Yeah, yeah fuck filthy yeah. Filthy fucking whore. <laughs> I don't like that he... I say it, and Dan well, goes no. against me. Mm. Bill says it. He's like, yeah, you're right. I did like... Well, no, no, like, because I was yeah. saying... I was talking about the glasses. You were talking about that fucking she, old lunch lady. She's oh, man, fucking hot. She was... She looked like a librarian... Like an ugly librarian. Not even a sexy librarian. She the looks glasses were. Now. She looked No, now she looks awful. Let me see. Oh. Spin it around. Yeah. Back gotta, in the day, she was not that. She looks like a skinny Bruce Falanche. Huh? For the mm. All right, why don't you throw that? Uh, give me the, give me the just, bandana. You just wanted to say the oh, word yeah. phalanche. I did. She looks like an old yenta. Yeah, get her back in the day, though. Fucking hell. Get, a, get an old one. Get an old one. 19, yeah, you can't have like 82. 23-year-old hair. <laughs> fucking eighty-year-old face. If That's gonna be a do. wig. That's gonna be well, a I'm wig. Just, yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Like if you're wig. dying and you know and your lipstick and shit, ah, forget it. Man, I start. Yeah. Yeah. I um. <laughs> <laughs> those guys. Those guys were actually. She. I don't understand how she fell off. Ricky By the way, Lay how fell long off. does this go? Well, we're almost wrapping up soon. Okay. No, Jesus, okay. Talk not about, too, about, not too much about, longer now with that fucking leaving, attitude. You know, leaving them wanting more. Yeah, well, no, we don't do that every week. <laughs> we, we go see, over. Yeah. We do the opposite. Yeah, we, we do the opposite. We do every podcast. We actually listen once. We leave them on pause. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I'll get back to this <laughs> after lunch break. I'll fucking listen to the yeah, rest of this. Yeah, we thing. have truck drivers that listen to the yeah. show. <laughs> oh, you do. They have to get fucking lumber to fucking Knoxville, so they need as much podcasting as we can give them. Got to get through Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Anyways, we're gonna do we're gonna do one more thing about the book, and we're gonna get out of here. Um, we got the book coming out the sixteenth of October. It's uh, it's yeah. cheat a man's guide to infidelity. That has uh, the link to our uh, awesome movie, which was yeah, we got uh, into Tribeca. Tri- Tribeca Film Festival. Please, let's not lose the focus. Called this. Cheat. Right, that's right. And it's me, DeRosa, who was going to stop by. Apparently, had another meeting. Um, Maybe he fell off his bicycle. <laughs> uh, we got a video of him on a bike. What? He rides a bike now? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Joe, Tattoos. Looks, Joe is like right out of like central casting, like uh, mugging victim. Does he have a tattoo? He got. Have two. you not yeah, seen he, him yet? Two. Oh, two. Bill. Can you please tell Wait him tell what the tattoo says? It's just yeah. It's lettering, but tell him what it means. It says "Keep kicking him in the nuts." It's KK. <laughs> you, you can't do that in your head. I don't know. I'm, a re- I'm retarded. But it looks like KKK. Smarter than everybody here. And it's tattooed yeah. up on his forearm. Um, I, and just like, I wish you could ever. You didn't see that last night. Oh, was... And then he got. Uh, what is it? Is it Zappa? Zappa lives. Yeah. Zappa lives. You didn't need to live. Listen. You know who the said? Zappa. Listen to me. Listen to me, Bill. It says keep kicking him in the nuts because that's what jo- that's that? what George Carlin said to him once. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. And he got it tattooed on his arm. But George full- Carlin also said that to everybody. He met. <laughs> <laughs> I had a full is, stop is he, after like, it as well. Is he all right? Is he on like some sort of suicide watch? Who, DeRosa? Yeah, yeah. Why is he doing that? Yeah, he got a bike. Uh, he look, uh, he got a bike. Teddy's he's got a dungaree jacket. <laughs> he had a dungaree jacket on last night. Oh, I thought Burr walks in I and goes, I, you look like fucking, you look like the million dollar man. What's uh, it? I said, why are you dressed like Lee Major? Lee Major. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, isn't that funny with jokes? Yeah. A little adjustment. Little adjustment. Why are you dressed like the six million dollar man? 
Oh, God, dude. This is, is the video. Bike? So did DeRosa ride the bike there? Yep, he rode it. But he refused to ride it away when we were standing there watching there you go. him. Wait, his no, helmet. Let's tell the story here. Yeah. He he had this big, stupid helmet. Uh, he has a helmet? <laughs> well, you know, like that guy in the war movies who, like, you know, the veterans tell you how to wear the helmet. He's uh, wearing it like in boot yeah, camp. Yeah, he, he, he has the press guy helmet, <laughs> not the army guy helmet. Yeah, so uh. he saw us standing there waiting for him to put his guy. I goes, I'm not putting We were half a block away. Just staring at him, and he <laughs> sensed us staring at him. It's like fucking. It's like one in the morning. So he gets his bike, and he, he literally runs across the street with his helmet. He goes, "I'm not doing it," thinking that we're not gonna. Fo we start following this fucking guy, crouching behind cars, dude. I crouch behind that wall with that urine smell. <laughs> And he finally thinks yeah. he's like fucking two and a half city blocks away. <laughs> and us two immature assholes in our 40s are crouching behind cars following him, right? He finally puts the fucking thing on thinking he's safe. And then I just thought Bob was going to film him. Bob, of course, has to take it to another level. He just runs out of nowhere just like, hey! And scared the shit yeah, out of him. Bush got play the video on that. Here. Yeah, watch that. Uh, makes me so happy. Uh, put, put it up to the mic so they can hear at least him screaming. He's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's gonna. I'll put this. I'm gonna put this video up on the. Uh, let me see. I want to. I'm gonna put the video up. Yeah, turn the volume down. I'm gonna put this video up on the page. The uh, you know what, dude? Page. So you can check it out. That is great. Uh, his helmet. He his looks fucking rollerblading helmet from '98, uh, like when the first X Games came out. It's just awful. He does. It's a rollerbladers helmet, not a bike helmet. <laughs> it looks a bit too big for him. Like he's like. Mm. Why did he get Zappa lives? He's, he's, a, he's, a, a, big he's a big he Zappa need, fan. He doesn't need the news, though. Is. No, but like that's like yeah. a that's like a I think a catchphrase amongst fans. With his glasses, he looks it's like, like Primus sucks. Yeah. Zappa yeah. lives. Yeah. All right, so he's not going to get a this, sleeve. Is he? He? No, he can't I because he, he got he got lettering. It's not like a tattoo. It's just thin lettering that says "kick him in the nuts." But it, it just looks uh, like KKK. <laughs> it looks like full the guy. at the end. I would. You know what? I got to give it up to him that that fucking pansy actually sat there and took it. Where I would think, you know, it, and, he, and he did it twice. I would have loved to see his face, though, while he was getting... I don't know why he's the most interesting person I've ever met. It would have looked like him doing his act. <laughs> Taking his glasses on and off. Uh. He really does look like, with his glasses and that helmet, he looks like the guy in the Vietnam movie that I dies first. Glasses. The nerdy kid that doesn't know. Zappa li I mean, you, you meet a guy in a bar <laughs> and he has a Zappa lives hey tattoo. Guys. We haven't, uh, if he explains what that other thing means, that would yeah, be... But that's just such a dumb thing. It's just like... Holy shit, that's funny. What it's, are you doing? What kind of act are you doing that... I, to the point I feel bad that we're talking about it because it's so, like, not even defensible. Yeah. Hey, well, you know what be a great practical joke? Is if we somehow fucking... If we uh, killed DeRosa? No, if we somehow chloroformed him. If he passed out and we took him to one of those laser removal things. <laughs> got it and done. We, and we got rid of both of them. <laughs> and then when he wakes up, there's just a post-it that says, you're welcome. We, yeah, uh, and then, but then he, if he wants to go through it, because you know that's where he wants him, that's going to hurt like even more. To get he'll him have redone? To get, he'll have to get, I said, he can't <laughs> <in the> nuts. <laughs> yeah. Let's go get uh, a bunch of open mic comics, and they put fake kicking, keep kipping them with the nuts. Tattoos <laughs> like on everybody them. everybody just, gets everybody's it. Everybody's like, yeah, he all said that to us. Oh, God. Like, that's just what he said. You got that too? I got, got that too. I got it too. I'm a spotty kiss. I'm a spotty kiss. I got to be honest, now that we're actually doing it on a podcast, like, I'm actually worried about him. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> like, that is a completely. Midlife a, crisis? It, it, it's, a de it's a departure. Uh, I w from I, uh, from the way he behaves, like I would have. Uh, yeah, the bike threw me off. Though the helmet yeah. and the bike threw me off. That's no big deal. You yeah, know, but saving money uh, on cabs. Yeah, but the bike. He's got a dad. He's got a jean jacket. He's got tattoos. He's becoming Lou Reed. <laughs> 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 All right, check it out. <laughs> we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do one more promo for the book. Uh, I'm gonna do a little right now. Uh, if you guys are a fan of the show, go to Amazon.com. Uh, go to our website, uh, riotcast.com slash Robert Kelly, and go to uh, Amazon.com. You guys buy anything on the internet, uh, any of the stuff from Tech Talk, any of the stuff uh, we talk about, go to our page. You can help support the show by using the Amazon link right on our page. Uh, I just, this, this last month was the highest month ever of ah. people using that link. Oh, um, so uh, we appreciate that. 144. <laughs> um, well, it goes by the money. If you, the more money you spend on there, we get a percentage of that. Nothing big, very small, $85. but it does help. Um, <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> keep going. Uh, and if you guys, uh, video game guys, go to GameFly, GameFly.com slash YKWD for a two-week 
uh, free trial. If uh, it's the Netflix of uh, video games, eight thousand games. If you don't want to, <laughs> are you on Netflix Game Fly too? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's I'll go to five b- advertisers that will all advertise on all of us. <laughs> <laughs> when are you getting stamps.com? <laughs> eight thousand. Would you like to bring the arcade into your, <laughs> into your apartment? Wouldn't it be great to take two weeks of vacation time and do nothing but order pizzas and play video games? Well, right now you can. If you go to www.gamefly.com/slash. YKWD or <laughs> slash what's yours? Bill Burr. <laughs> Maybe you can get 16,000 games if you, if you type them in both. Who knows? <laughs> All I know is I'm jealous because we used to have to play a quarter each. Ah, uh, <laughs> shit. Uh, so, yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, and the donations are great, too. Appreciate that. Um, make sure you go to Laugh Spin. Go, yep. Oh, I'm sorry. I was, gonna, I was just going to give you a motion when you're done. Uh, Laugh Spin, uh, Laugh Spin uh, one of the unofficial sponsors, cringehumor.com, uh, and uh, Laugh Button, Matt Laugh Button, Laugh Button comedy website. Absolutely. Go to those sites. Uh, they support our shows, our show, uh, and support comedy and comics we like, so make sure you check them out and give them support. What else? What am I forgetting? No, that's... that's oh, go to the... We um we sold a shitload of merch this week in yeah. YKWD merch. Um, we sold a bunch of it at the show. If you guys want any of that, because uh, uh, I brought it to this show because all of us were going to be there, um, you can go to uh, riotcast.com, hit the merch page, hats, posters, shirts, mugs, whatever the fuck you want, uh, you can get it there. Uh, so make sure you check that out. Um, I'm gonna get do a, a fucking te- hat, dude. I gave Billy a hat yesterday. I didn't even want it. I, I go, dude, you want a hat? It, it, he goes, no. I go, no, no, take a hat. He goes, no. I felt like my I mother didn't though. Say no, I said I just, I got too much shit. Yeah. dude, his cat, his apartment, fucking gorgeous, clutter, dude. Well, yeah, dude, you guys are like borderline hoarders, man. No, you it's gotta, me. You, you it's not her. Course. It's because I, I'm home. I, I got home. My all are you my life. <laughs> I have all my shit upstairs All my boxing shit My fly fishing shit I gotta go to the storage unit And drop all my shit off You gotta pick a hobby. Fly fishing? I got a whole bag of fly fish Yeah, I got a lot of fly fish I do. We came back from uh, the vacation And I was supposed to drop shit off At the storage unit And I didn't Your fly fishing stuff? Yeah, all my fly fishing shit I had a, a big bag Do you know the weirdest it. things Make me miss Patrice? You know, the fucking Joe's tattoos, the fact that he's not here to trash them, <laughs> it's actually making me miss him. And the fact that you're sitting here talking about your dumb fly fishing. <laughs> yeah. Just thinking what the fuck he would say. Yeah, I, w- I know. It is weird, man. Like, I wonder if he would... Tr- I mean, I knew he knew I went fly fishing, Download but he Mr. never P. trashed me. Oh, he Mr. P, fuck right. yeah. Yeah, we should announce that every week. We were doing that for a minute and we stopped. Uh, make sure you go get Mr. P. All the proceeds go to his family. I bought it. That's yeah, great. I it's bought fantastic. it too. It's unbelievable. Actually, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, Here's the thing too. Tulu. I love yeah, that with Tulu. Tulu. Uh, what about if I hate your name? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any black uh, friends. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll, on shuffle, I'll just be laughing like a maniac. My, my, one of his tracks will come up, like the dog's one, where yeah. my dog appreciates uh, me. Uh, Are you faggot? What? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Oh, my God. That's such a brilliant Up yeah. here, fun. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Not going to be like, I'm going to buy me a ladder. I need to go out there. Oh, fuck that. He doesn't act like he doesn't need it. Brilliant fucking bit. Brilliant fucking bit. I dare you to download that album and not be singing, I am black, you are white. Together we will write this. (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit. (laughs) That fucking album's great. Um, All right, yeah, make sure you check that out. And cheat, man, buy our book. BillyBird.com. Right, well, go watch the fucking movie. The movie, yes. The movie's going to be out there. The movie is, uh, and we're, we're uh, almost finished with the, uh, what is that? That's oh. mine. Well, we're going to get to that. <laughs> I mean, it sounds as different as that. You're trying to like, go support Patrice's family. I just want to put mine away, man. Just forget it. <laughs> well, we no, 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 dude. Go buy Patrice's a living family. comic. Yeah, support a living comic that's not as good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. It could be someday. Could be someday. If you it's, get uh, yelled at by a clown. At the very least, it's worth just to see the creepy picture. Of Nate and his dad. <laughs> They Absolutely. were you know what's cool is you have like how much hope you had in it's your face, together. and then you turn around and you yeah. see. The I had LASIK the day that picture was taken. Oh, you did. Yeah, or not the day, but the I one on the front or the back. You look like your team got their ass kicked in the first half. Well, <laughs> He's a Vandy fan. This is what the fuck so, uh, we practiced that's for. Pretty, that's what. <laughs> All right, we're gonna right. wrap this. Thing we're up. wrapping this thing up right now. <laughs> we're doing. Um, <laughs> we're gonna do uh, a tech talk real quick at the end of this, uh, and it actually has something to do with Bill Burr, which is funny. Mm. And I have a present for Jesus. Bill Burr too. You shave, right? Do you shave, or you grow that all the time? You keep well, that all yeah, the time? I mean, I, I trim around it. 
I don't want it. You want to get to some I video? I don't want it anymore. I have too much stuff. You don't have to take it then. I'll okay. give it to somebody else. Uh, but stop saying you don't want it. You could say, for the it. for this, on the show, you could be like, thanks. And at the end you of the know, show... That's, I can see how that could be a really helpful product in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good um, QVC Don, pitch. Don Herrera is the best, by the way. You got to have him I on. I love Don. Hey, tell me about that product, Bob. I'm going to try to channel <laughs> what he does. All right. This is a friend of mine, uh, Todd Green, who started this company. It's for uh, bald guys. And um, it's called Headblade. A lot of people don't know it. Um, I use head blade products. I don't really use the head blade device, uh, but is I use the Tech products. Talk? Yeah, this is Tech Talk. Sorry, we forgot to do the thing. Tech, Tech Talk, talk with, with Bobby and friends. friends. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. But this thing right here is. Uh, Can the I have the fake fingers? No, you can't have them. They go back in. Damn it. Do they come uh, with the thing? This thing right here is called the head blade. Uh, and it's, um, it's actually, I use all the products. It's called uh, mentholated shave cream. The, hang on, Billy. Come on. Does this really turn into like one of those, like, fucking, what's those late night QVCs? Shows? QVC. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> We've got a ladder that actually folds down. <laughs> but this, um, are you getting this on video? Well, let me know uh, that. Bob, so we got before. the audio. I think the video will be too much for you to listen to. This is, just, this is so oh, compelling. We've got 46 of these left. We've got 46. <laughs> They're flying off the thing. Uh, 43. We've got 43. <laughs> They're down to $29. You know, I found out that Dan hates the show. No. I, 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 I really do. Billy I trashing it, and Dan is like, yeah, fuck this. <laughs> Every week he's like, yeah, let's do Tech Talk. I, oh, when have I yourself. ever said, let's do Tech Talk? All right, here we go. I have no technology in my life. This thing right here. Are you on? This, this is, is this is Headblade right here. What? This guy's company. He sent this to me. He's a real big fan. But this is why he sent this to me. Um, I retweeted one of his tweets. Just tell us what it does. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that was real. <laughs> that, that that, I did. You did make me mad. Uh, he tweeted. I retweeted his thing. This is a brand new one that just came out. His Headblade that just came out. I retweeted. Go get this. Because he's a friend of mine. You retweeted he retweeted it. back. Uh, yeah, that's great, Robert Kelly. But can you get Bill Burr to use one? Go fuck yourself. Hashtags. That's my pop. That's my slogan. On my I podcast. don't know that. I didn't know oh, okay. that. I read. Hey, yeah, <laughs> I, that's cool that you like it. But can you get a better fucking comic to like it and go fuck yourself? I went. <laughs> I was like, are you fucking... I was so mad at this guy, because I think it's him, too. Then, the next tweet was from a fan going, dude, if you like it, I'll get you one. His next retweet was, you will? Question mark. Like, really? I call up Todd. I'm about to go do Cowhead in Tampa. I call him up on the phone. I'm like, I go, what the fuck's your problem? What the fuck are you... What do you... Go fuck yourself? I'm just trying to help you, dude. I don't give a fuck about... He's like, what are you talking about? I go, what the fuck? Go fuck yourself. Get Bill Burr? What the fuck? He doesn't even shave his head. He goes, dude, I don't do the tweets. No. I guess there's this kid Lee in the office who does the tweet is a huge Bill Burr fan. And go fuck yourself is his saying. So he no, was in the podcast. Thanks so for he, Go fuck yourself. <laughs> So he was very simple. So he was saying, he was saying, I, "Hey, I love you, love Bill. If you get Bill to use it, yeah. hashtag go fuck yourself <laughs> because it's Bill's thing." So this kid got in a lot of fucking trouble. <laughs> he called him up and fight. Call, I got the message too. It's so sad. Hey, this is Lee. Oh, that was the one you played. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Blah blah oh. blah. So, anyways, he sent me all this shit. Uh, it's it's actually this new one. I like a lot. I actually used it. You just put it on your fingers like that. Put it like this, and just. Roll it across oh, your head. Oh, God, if you had blood, I thought oh, you were about to do it. If you just no, fuck you, it, like a carry it. moment. You just roll it across your head like this. When you, For guys who shave their head, it's so much easier just to fucking put the cream on, do this, and you're literally done. It takes under two minutes to shave your head with this thing right here. It's, it's pretty fucking... Because when you use a regular razor, you're too far away. It's kind of unbalanced. For your head, it's I mean, unbelievable. Fuck, I just keep picturing you nicking your head. Here. Yeah, no, it's fucking... It's just got like a wrestling blade mark. It's, <laughs> it's coming. Someone hit him with a chair. So this yeah, is all you, you do. Reverse snook ahead. Get yeah, the yeah, yeah. You use this shit right here, which is mentholated. This cream is one of my favorite <laughs> shave creams of all time. You just take this thing and just roll it right across your head. It's unbelievable. Headblade.com if you guys want to buy these. Uh, make sure you check them out. Good friend of mine and a big fan of Billy Burr. So go fuck yourself. <laughs> and buy Nate's album. Buy Nate's album. Bill, thanks for coming on. Thank you guys very much for having me. Check out his wonderful. podcast. Uh, not that he needs it, but uh, 
Yeah, he, I need it. All right, he's got. Yeah, it. He, he's uh, it's, it's one of the top podcasts out there in my book. Aren't they all? Well, no, nah, isn't the way everybody do the numbers. Everybody has nine million listeners, and dude, I'm number one on Tuesdays. <laughs> You're not. You, but I actually started your podcast. I helped you start the first one. Dude, you showed I, me how to do I it. I set you up. You dare take credit. I set you up. <laughs> oh, I told you, I said, do from, a podcast, and it will help, help your career. Up. I said that to him. No, I said, didn't. dude, I said, do a podcast. You went, I don't want it, dude. Fuck you and your hats. That's what I said. He said, you should, you should fucking try these things out. Dane's doing one. I'm doing I'm one. I'm doing one, yeah. And you did one. Yeah. And I set it up. That's oh. the first show, right? Bobby, you're going. I, I fucking gave you an apartment to live in. I'm the reason why you're here in New York. What would you do if I ever said that to you, you fucking cunt? <laughs> Will you get off? Like I'm leaning here and you're not trashing me. I'm just standing up, leaning with my Nate, back. Let's, Nate, let's never fight like that. sat down yeah. so fucking long. Me and, Billy, God, me, and, me and Billy have some epic fights. Yeah. Epic fights. But anyways, go check out his podcast. It's the, we should have talked about on this. I know. Yeah. Dude, we have fucking... Whether, whether wrestling or MMA was more taxing on the that was <laughs> That was fun. Oh that was, that fun was a scientific God. argument. I like that argument. I guarantee you, you're going to get a bunch of fucking emails about that. What? Yeah. That Burr's a fucking idiot. Wrestling isn't real. <laughs> That's how they're going to hear it. <laughs> uh, check out Kelly Festuca at Kelly Festuca on Twitter. Check out Dan Soda at Dan Soda on Twitter. Dan, where are you going to be? This come out next week? Uh, I'll be in the city. All right, good. Dan, we'll have no gigs. Yeah, um, seller, stand we, up New York. Where are you going to be, bro? I'll be at, uh, I'm doing the L.A. Riot Fest and then San Antonio River Center. Dan's kind of the, oh, next, cool. the next Ben Bailey. I'm in San Antonio this week. They've been calling me the retarded really? Ben Bailey. Yeah, I'm, a, uh, I'm not the River Center, though, the other one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Build. Do you but know anything about the River finished. Center? No, it's bad, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm worried. Uh, Joe DeRosa works that club. Mm. Really? Yeah. Hey. You'll have fun. All right, buddy. Make sure you buy his album. Yeah. Um, Yell that by a clown. Yell that by a clown. Comes out tomorrow on right, iTunes. Day, September 18th. So check that tomorrow. shit out. You guys are the best. Thanks a lot. That's Thank it. Thank you. you know what?